<laughs> What's up, party people? Welcome to Enter the Realm, episode 176. Your Realm of Collectors Monday Night Podcast. Pull a chair up to the cool table, a group of like-minded shows. Featuring this one, Enter the Realm, Shattercast Uncut, Nerd Rage Radio, Stasis Lock, Toy Detox, building up to it, fresh communication, and breaking the mold. You can check out music from Cobra Law Records on Nathan Haskell's Bandcamp. You can send your what's in the fucking box and shelf life videos to into the realmcast at gmail.com. You can find the realm on Facebook. Our group is Realm of Collectors. Surprise. On Instagram, we're at Realm of Collectors, where Antoine is steady put in work. Make sure you follow the hashtag Realm of Collectors. See what the rest of the realm is up to. Our website's realmofcollectors.com. And if you're listening on an audio format, give us a five star rating because that's what all the cool kids are doing. This episode of Into the Realm is brought to you by Agabus.com. Agabus is the official e-tailer of the Realm of Collectors. Visit Agabus for all your masterpiece and third-party transformer needs. Five ninety-five flat rate shipping, free shipping on orders over one hundred and fifty dollars in Agabucks. The same as cash reward system. Make a purchase, earn points towards your next one. Visit Agabus.com today for details. Make sure you follow them on Facebook and Instagram. And Agabus has in um, a good bit of the Magic Square Legend Scale stuff um, popped in this week. The show is also brought to you by Crashbox Customs, the official Mezco supplier of the realm of collectors. Visit, visit Crashbox on social media for all your Mezco 112 needs and mention realm for a surprise gift. My, realm. Name, is, my name is Chris Pinkerton. If you're nasty, joining me tonight is an amended Jackal Squad. Going across the bottom of my Google Hangout screen, coming up first. The uh, the basement dweller, the man who lived in my house this weekend, Mr. Brink. That's right. I just got back from Mount Airy, Maryland, and my jaw really hurts. <laughs> now, listen, I don't give away those diorama secrets. Eating a lot of them spicy Skittles. <laughs> hey, Brian, pull these spicy Skittles in your mouth and try it. <laughs> no, it was cool seeing you this weekend, dude. We had a good nice. time. Yes, sir. Up next, I am blue. Double D, double die, double D, double die. Uh, did you go buy that hat just because? Yeah, because I had to match the shirt, and I don't like the hat. The hat's going back with the hat to match. That's <laughs> the only way I was going to wear the shirt. Remember, the, hat the hat's too dark, and I don't like the shape, so it's going back. You get a red hat. A red hat will work. Yeah, I'm going to buy the official uh, new era Cobra hat. Oh, look and at the forty bucks to do it right, ladies and gentlemen, dust mites. Yo, 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 yo. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Enter the Realm. Thanks. Thanks for the... you well, the, 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 yeah, It's the official second intro. The man with the most uh, vehicular homicide cases on their belt. <laughs> in, in, in the country, ladies and gentlemen, Tyler L is with us tonight. Uh, three and 18 months, man. Jesus, at least a wheel didn't like almost take your head off this time. No, that was the, that was the <laughs> first one. At least, no, with, with the hat on backwards, dust you kind of got a Fred Durst vibe tonight. <laughs> I, like, I, always got, I always got my head back, hat backwards. What do you think? Like, this is something just, different tonight. It's no, it's I, it just I think it's, it's a different color. That's I, think it's, I think it's the coordination of the colors, too. Yeah, it's it's color. Just one of those days. <laughs> There was a girl in that video that pulled her shirt up. I'm like, man, I wish I could see more of her. More boobs. More boobs. More. I walked out, someone's not trying to drop kick me from behind. That's right. That's what y'all <laughs> have to look out for. Is drop kicks from behind. Okay, that was so much fun. Let's do it again in a little segment I like to call. What did you get, <laughs> Mr. Brink? Yo, I got some things. Got some, some things. Stiff, some things. <laughs> I uh, got a little uh, package from G Money today. Showed up unexpectedly. Um, he has once again come through in the clutch and picked up another Jurassic Park figure. I got Doctor Ian Malcolm here, so he's just uh, here by himself uh, in a package by himself. Um, and I he also picked up this magic figure. Who he picked? He, he picked. Up, he says, "Hey, do you want this?" I'm like, "No, nah, man, I'm good." And yeah, here it is in a box. Uh, <laughs> shipped to my house. Sweet. Um, can you hang on a second, Brian? Can you please tell me everything you know about that character? I know nothing, but her accessories are quite mythic. 
worthy. Oh. Oh. Mm-hmm. Indeed. Actually, these are going to go well with, uh, I think, Azza, the spirit bender, which we'll eventually get here at some point. I don't know. But uh, stay tuned for high quality picks of that. Um, and also, he sent me some uh, Bandai Tamashi Nation's uh, smoke bomb uh, things. So, oh, nice. Cool. nice. Cool. I've never owned any of this stuff before. It's pretty awesome. Um, I also got in, let's see, I went to that Hasbro toy shop and I got lucky. I got in on their sale and I got, uh, Optimus Prime, uh, the cog so that I can jazz up Optimus Prime, fill in all his five meg- millimeter ports. Were the, were the, uh, the Voyagers on sale too, or was it just yep. the Deluxes? Yep. Uh, well, how much were the Voyagers? Sale. They were 30 minus 20%. So it's at 24. That's a regular price. Um, I have to say, maybe Titans return regular price. Yeah, I have to say that that uh, that cog function is my least favorite part of that line of figures. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it's like I don't care what you think. Fuck you. <laughs> I picked up a couple of those two packs of those little dudes. There's a there's a car team and a plane team, and uh, I got Skytread on order with them, but they sent me a hound instead. So. Uh, Stay tuned to a BTN giveaway near you. What's a Sky Tread? Uh, it's that uh, Flywheels homage thing. What episode was he in, Sky Tread? I, I don't know, but I always wanted him as a kid, never got him. So. He was in the fifth season. I don't remember Sky Tread. <laughs> I got uh, a do back on sale. Uh, one of them. Uh, do back again, please. Do backs. Do back. Got a do back. Hey, listen. Uh, can somebody use do back in a sentence? I got it. Mama, I'm on her diet. I need you to take that Mountain Dew back. When's that library book, Dew back? There you go. <laughs> oh, you, you win. Yours is better. <laughs> um, <laughs> Where's Jeff Foxworthy? We need to send him that one. I, was late. I fell asleep in the grass. I got some dew on my back. Oh, there. are you referring to a Fox? I'm reaching there. I'm reaching there. <laughs> you're, reaching, you're referring to his, his joke about fascinate? Yeah, that's a good one. Drop some dew on her back. All right, keep it moving. Oh, um, hang on, guys. Sorry, hang on a second. You got another one? No, I, I just I, I did get a ring for coffee bell. Oh, it's coffee time, ladies uh, and gentlemen. It's too sick to go to school, but not too sick to hunt. However, let's note, let's make a note here. I didn't bring you coffee because you rang the bell. I bring you coffee because I'm a good son. Oh. Keep that in mind. Thanks. Yeah. Why is it, As he slams it on the why table. Is it, why, is it, why, is it, why is it cold? Why is it cold? <laughs> the coffee. Why is it cold? Because I was too sick to use the coffee maker. Oh, you were too sick to use coffee. It's what, just brown. What do you, what do you bring you? A fucking cup of Sanka? What it's, is this shit? It's Chris's leftover water. coffee from this morning that he left on the counter. It's warm bean water. It's bean his, water. It's his chew cup. It's all right. It's fucking this tea, iced tea. <laughs> Give me tea. All right. Sorry. Don't don't ring the bell. Go away. <laughs> you, you've done your due diligence. You have to go rest up so you can go to school. All right. Sorry, Brian. Uh, there. And uh, also, I did a little uh, mythic trading with uh, Mr. Pinkerton while I was there. Oh, mythics. Mythic trading. Traded a skeleton for a snag. You mm-hmm. know. You're, if you're in that life, you know it's pretty. And I got on displayed up there with my uh, my crash box dyno that I worked on. Yeah, see that is that is a crash box brinkalizer dyno 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 because you did a lot of work on that. It's true. Uh, in my house this weekend, Chris Chris learned me some things. I learned how to use an airbrush and learned how to dry brush, yeah, dry brush, and which is really the the whole magic of, of all this stuff is dry brush. That's correct. That's correct. And uh, trial and error, for sure, if you've never done it before. So. Yep. Or trowel and error if you're using spackle. Oh. Sorry. Well, I didn't, I didn't get that level. No, we didn't, we didn't spackle anything. Maybe next time. That's, that's, the, that's the master class. <laughs> <laughs> and that fixes it up for me. I know. All right. Um, uh, yeah, I jumped on at a... Uh... Cyber Monday sale and <laughs> got this motherfucker. And uh, shout out to uh, Pickerton the Enabler. Um, let me know when you're ready to get rid of that. I got 50 bucks. I don't know, dude, man. It's fucking beautiful. 
I mean, for I the know. price, I, dude, for the price I paid, it, it, it's fucking gorgeous, man. And I mean, honestly, it's fucking just to dis- I don't even know if I want to take it out, man, but it's fucking gorgeous. And the best thing about it is that Amazon hit me up and said, oh, one of your packages wasn't delivered. We're going to credit $45 to your account. Okay. What wasn't delivered? A pot set. Oh, okay. That you don't remember ordering? One of those deals? It, yeah, I, I, I didn't see it. All right. It's too bad. <laughs> Tragic. And um, I got a new pot set. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. Oh, hey. It, Sorry, guys. I'm still uh, day 24 of the uh, Siege of the Mucus. <laughs> Can't fuck with the flute tank clang. They bring the motherfucking mucus. Indeed. 24. I've been actually. Uh, no, Nightwing and them. I do not smoke pot. Sorry, dude. Why are you looking? Are you holding Nightwing and them? No. I didn't think so. Um, Tyler, you hold them? Uh, no, I left. Hold them some dog clothes. <laughs> uh, what did I get? Oh, I downloaded. Uh, I got that Spider-Man game for thirty-nine ninety-nine. Nice. nice. Finally got it to uh, download. So still haven't played it, but I got it. Oh, you got it. It's in the. It's in. The, it's in the. Uh, <laughs> it's in the PlayStation somewhere. It's, it's, it's somewhere in the hard drive. You're good. You're good. You're good. Um, and then besides that, I got a update today on my emperor that it has left the Carolinas and is now residing in PA somewhere. Do, 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 is that do, do, one from do, do, last week? Yeah. Hang on. What service was this with? Uh, USPS. And it's a priority number. Yep, they they are they put a tracer on the package, a tracer. So it must it must be where my pot set is. I have a I have a post office story in a minute. So. I don't I I don't know what a tracer is, but they said they're gonna find it on this episode of Palpatine Watch. Yeah, really. Um, I think tracers are like in like in Top Gun when they use the uh do 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 the um Palpatine. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Besides that, like that was it. Man, it must be killing you waiting for that fucking thing. And that's the one that's the one with the throne, right? Yes. No, 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 no. no. Who is they? I got the deluxe one and then uh I ordered I made the mistake. I ordered uh episode six Luke, and then forty eight hours later they put up the new one. And we'll, oh. get, and we'll get to that later today. Oh, okay. Well can you send the other one back? I don't know. I might just keep it and get the other one. <laughs> I don't know. This my bag. So, yes. you got Jeff. that insurance money. That's right. <laughs> Honey, I'm not gonna fix from all, these, from all these car wrecks. I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to modricase.com. Um, yeah. What about you, Chris? Oh, you got hey. Yeah, I got very um, cool. I got a couple things. I got the Mezco Catwoman yeah. that is issue free. Um, I will say that I had I only ordered four of those wholesale and three of them were broken. I am getting replacements to the people who paid for them. Um, so I bought one from another seller and he checked it for me before he said shit because they're rampant with issues. I got uh, I got our exciting evening a couple of weeks ago of ordering Mythic Legion. I got my first order in and I will tell you I got a tracking number on a on Friday night and Saturday at noon the box was at my house so. That's pretty dope. That's pretty um, quick. That's quick stuff. Traded one. Uh, I, I accidentally double ordered a figure that Brink needed. And so we traded an extra one he had that, oddly enough, Dustin and I bought him at <laughs> Toy Con. Hey, we're, it all works out. He still got what he wanted, right? Now. Hey, um, that's it. Works. And, Brick, and Bricks, Bricks was the ringleader of that little gang there. So um, I got some trades. Uh, shout out to Raul. He's going to me some trades. I got a, a bat, the Tim Sale Batman trade. The Garthinus Punisher trade, like the omnibus, and then I believe it's called the Immortal Hulk. I think it's a newer run on Hulk. Um, so I'm looking forward to reading those for sure. Awesome. And uh, let me think here. No, well, I got some new equipment coming this week. But, you know, uh, so it's funny with these new omnibuses. Is like it's like they're becoming like the new collectible thing. <laughs> and yeah. Like like I would be so scared to fucking read one. You know what I mean? Because it's. It's you want to keep it in good shape, and I mean, it, it does help that it's fucking hardcover and you sit at a table and read it. It's not something that you like 
fucking well, hanging off the side of your fucking bed reading like you're well, fucking I, I will tell you the Batman one is currently on my nightstand because <laughs> I read some of it last night. And it is, I mean, it is. Hang on, I'll show you guys. You, you sit up properly. You prop the pillows up. You sit like a fucking, you know, yeah. like a sitcom or, or or some sort of ABC, you know, 1950s fucking guy you know, yeah, with the separate those. beds, you know? Yeah, it's not one of those books that you fall asleep reading, right? And then you're like roll over it and smash all the pages up at night. Yeah, yeah. You see yeah. how, how thick this is? Hold on, let me I mean, this is, this is hurting my arm holding it. Up. Yeah, yeah, that's dope. So, so the this is the... The, the Batman one is actually thicker. And I was telling Kelly last night. It's still playing. sealed, man. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was telling Kelly last night, I'm like, man, this is awesome. But it's almost like too big to read and, you know, sit down and read it. It's so big. I used to um, have problems reading my digital comics on a tablet. Look at you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, here was, I'm all tall up. <laughs> oh, Chris, um, real quick. Uh, 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 Chris in the chat says thanks for the good morning guard. That's the dude that. Oh, right on, Chris. Okay. That uh, Morning Guard for. I got you. Right on, man. No problem. So, shout out to him in the chat. What's up, dude? Um, I got, I got something else. I'm trying to remember what it was. Uh, oh, I got the the probe droid, the uh, 112 scale um, IDA probe droid from um, Thousand Toys. I don't know anything about it, but it is a beautiful piece of art. Is that the one that goes man 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 Five points. The five points test. Yeah, so I'll probably. I don't think I've over ever opened the book. I actually, no, sam I, sam oh, I sampled that noise. I think for fucking V. It's funny shit, man. I'm sorry. I, Chris, but... No, you're fine. I, I had to clean up a little bit before I had house house guests, and I uh, I opened this tote of stuff I have and found a bunch of stuff I forgot I had it that I haven't even opened yet. Dude, that's really inspired about the tote life. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. So, anywho, it was cool having having Brian over for the weekend. Um, actually, messed with some stuff I hadn't messed with in a while because we were talking about it, like the Street Fighter stuff. Whew, man, that's some good stuff. The Storm Collectibles. Speak, speaking of which, I well played done. Street Fighter for the first time ever this weekend. That's right. I broke what? his. Uh, I broke his Street Fighter cherry. Yeah. Um, Thirty years later. Yeah. And who did you play with? Do you remember? Uh, I played with uh, no, I don't. Cammy is that the yeah? Crazy you, play, you played with Cammy, and, and actually, you beat Mason in one round. That's right. And I was just mashing buttons. I didn't even know what I was doing. <laughs> Which Street Fighter game was this? So it's a it's Street Fighter Two on the Switch. Oh, okay. So although that was pretty pretty cool. That he could, um, you know, I, I boggled my mind that he never played it, but now he has. Check that off his bucket list. Like up. ever, ever, like from the nineties, never played Street Fighter two. Uh, yes, correct. I have never played wow. Street Fighter at all. So much to the point when these new figures are coming out. I mean, I couldn't tell them apart from uh, the what was the. What's that thing Dan likes? Dragon Ball and uh, oh, he likes oh, balls. He likes balls. Street right? Fighter, really? Collectibles, yeah. That's the other one. Not Mortal Kombat. What's the other one? Street Fighter. No, that is Mortal Kombat. Yeah, I actually did play Mortal Kombat though when I was in college. My roommate would kick my ass on his Super Nintendo, playing as Raiden all the time. Fucking, those controllers are very resilient when you throw them. Just want to let you know. <laughs> oh yeah. It'll all bounce back. All right. Well, we have some news to go through tonight. Uh, Which news? The news roulette. <clears throat> yeah, we should just get a wheel and just spin it. What's that program where there's the uh, the wheel? Oh, the, yeah, yeah. That would that would just be cool. Spin it up. Spin Maybe it we up. Get our shit together and do that. So let's just let Brian go first since he's first on the screen here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, John Dixon, where did Brian grow up? <laughs> well, Deluxe said, in the forest. 
supposed to grow up too fast. I have been accused of being raised by wolves before. <laughs> That's funny. That was good. Good to see Andrew John Attic in the chat. All Ooh. right. Am I oh, lately? See this promo here. <clears throat> Am I, did I mute myself? Yeah, man, you got it. Yeah, we see. You. I'm sorry, man. I'm just clearing my my nose here. Okay. All right. So starting off, because we're, we're not tired of this. Hey. Um, so oh. so Tyler, I put this in here because of uh, the wonderful toy detox discussion that I listened to on the way home from uh, Chris's house mm -hmm. this weekend, and uh, they were I don't know. There's a whole bunch of talk going on about you know, hey, look. If this isn't for you, you got this. So just be satisfied with what you get here, and don't worry about this if it's not for you, you know, kind of thing. But in case people were wondering if they thought, you know, maybe I'll just get the Siege instead because this is too pricey. Well, here's the difference between them if you're not exactly aware. <laughs> what fucking idiot would say, I'm going to get the Siege instead of that? <laughs> <laughs> Did somebody well, say that? No, the conversation was knowing your lane. So if you don't have the 450 to spend it, there are other options. Dude, knowing your lane, that's, MP44 is an interstate. That's a fucking dead end. <laughs> First of all, whoever's paying, whoever's paying 450 for that has lost their mind. But you know what I'm saying, yeah. But there's, there's plenty of people who have. Uh, oh, yeah. And, uh, you know, it's funny. I, I got this in, uh, I think, the day before I went to your house, Chris, I should have brought it down. To see if Bobby wanted to review some sieges. I don't think he had done siege yet, but I forgot yeah. to bring it. Yeah, he said if they cross this table, he'll do it. Uh, yeah, because I was messing with this guy last night when I got home, and dude, there's no waffles. There's even whisk swivel, and hmm? it's awesome. Did you say whisk swivel? I said whisk, I said whisk swivel. Whisk swivel. Whisk. That's a mythic word. Yeah. A whisk, it's a wisp. A wisp, wisp of hair. We were messing with <laughs> isn't wisps. That the, isn't that the name of the little fairy figure from the mythic legions? It's a wisp. We were messing with the, the wisp of, uh, of grass this weekend. Not the kind you think. See, I was rolling up trees. Wait a minute. That's not what I mean either. <laughs> you guys are hard. All right, go ahead. Uh, no, I got you, man. That was funny. All right, so just a couple couple comparison shots here of, of MP, because we've seen these before, but uh, they're releasing new promo photos with new poses. So you can see here, um, depending on – who took the picture, you can see which one they're trying to endorse. But uh, yeah, I expect if they worked a little hard on this one, a little harder, maybe it looked like this, but who the hell knows? Oh, yeah, they got to just, yeah. They could different perspectives here. But anyway, there's some differences for you. I, I love mean, the ma the uh, Magic Square name, though. Light of Freedom. Light of Freedom. Light or Darkest Hour. Uh, here's comparisons to truck mode. A little more close-up compared to what we've seen previously. So... Uh, Looks like they went more of the MP10. Is my out. mind is my mind wrong in, in thinking that Optimus had a stripe on the TV show? Uh, he did not have a stripe on the TV show. Those lazy animators. Okay. Yeah. So I yeah. think the Magic Square one looks better, man. <laughs> Except for the back, right. the back part. Well, even His if legs don't look good, but yeah, but if you saw this, it's not going to look all that great either. And Rob M pointed out, hey, big stacks, big stacks for the Magic Square, you know, because <laughs> Rob loves them big stacks. He does. Stack size matters. Uh, That's right. And uh, in case you were wondering, he is MP scale. This is how he scales with other MP figures. I don't know. Who's that, MP44? Yeah, this is MP44. Why would you scale with MP44? Why would you pull out Sideswipe of all the characters available? <laughs> Uh, because this is the tune colored sideswipe there. Uh, you know, that's still a good look. I mean, that figure still holds up very well. Yeah. It's uh, mistransformed here. You can see they didn't plug this in properly. Down no, there. then it might be a KO. Yeah, perhaps. Mm. Dude, yeah. what if they didn't yeah. have any? What if they didn't have any and they had to go buy one? In there? Nice. <laughs> buy them. They have them in the fucking factory. <laughs> so true. All right. So, anyway, I don't know if this is Photoshopped or whatever, but obviously, this is how, how they'll scale. And uh, moving on, uh, Jiraiya Sama 7, who's in the chat. <laughs> Actually, it wasn't him. My bad. Damn it. I thought he was <laughs> Rewind. fake news. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. My bad. It was uh, someone else. Um, but uh, I wish there was a better picture of this. But uh, there's a picture of the transformation in a magazine of some type. 
And is this the masterpiece transformation? Yes, this is the MP44. Was this just today that this came up? Because you and uh, I were talking about it yesterday. Correct. Yeah, yeah this was not what I was correct. looking at last night. I was I was gonna I was gonna do this the hard way today and, and really look at some new photos from the Tokyo Toy Show to see if we could figure it out, but someone did the work for me. It literally looks like it explodes. It, it looks like you've got the bad cube team on this bad boy. Yeah, it transforms in twelve steps though. So I guess that's good. Uh, one of the interesting things I saw was these side panels on the truck fold up and become part of the leg transformation. So that was kind of interesting. I was wondering where those went. That's wild. It tucks uh, inside the jeans. Yeah. And then as yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's either got on a tall tee or some long socks. Um, and uh, the uh, so this front grill and stuff. Now, I had uh, mentioned this before, but yeah, it does actually fold up and go behind him in truck mode. Uh -huh. And then here we can see where the panels Panel. flip out. And you can see here's the uh, the the lights for the top of the truck that you see in robot mode are down here on the bottom. So I guess these flip around. Jerry Thomas seven said it was him. He wants it was him. He wants his damn credit. Brian. I'm sorry. Jerry Thomas seven. I'm so sorry. It was. Is that, is that better? Does. Yeah. It's it just, was. it's probably me, dude. It was. Okay. Sorry. Go ahead. Um, and, uh, yeah. So, so shit happens here. Shit happens here. Whatever. <laughs> I mean, dude. Oh, uh, you mean? Are... Hang on, you said that wrong. You mean accordion, accordion? Yeah, right? man. Uh, but bad cube, fucking explosions, it, exploders, more yeah. than meets the eye. But as you can see, it's 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 quite crazy, and you, I mean, you get from this mess to this mess, and then automatically starts looking good as soon as you get here. <laughs> yeah, so, automatically. So, yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah. And Cleans up nicely. So uh, go check out the group or Google uh, for some additional images. Uh, but, Yo, shout uh, out to Jariah, man. He just bought a house, got married. This dude is on his way. Yep. Big thing. Big thing. So uh, thank you, sir, for posting that in there for me. It, you allowed me to delete about 70 photos out of this thing. Um, uh, you, you get the fold-up hands. Very cool stuff. But uh, it's not just the typical fold-up hands that we're used to in old-school masterpieces. So as you can see, like they did with Sunstreaker and uh, well, I can't think of the other one right now. But there is some more complexity to that. So it's pretty cool. I should see how that all pans out. Also, too, for those of you who uh, don't want to spend the money on MP44, Hasbro's got you covered. <laughs> Uh, I love true? the I love that Brian's giving giving people the alternative. <laughs> does it hang on hang on? Does this shoot water? <laughs> it might. Hot damn! Oh, we got the uh, the G two fields <laughs> back. Yeah, man, the air the air pump power. Uh, yes. Can What's the retail on this, bro? Oh, I have no idea. Oh man, I'm in twenty nine ninety nine. He's got his battle axe. He's got the necessary accessory. Um. Comes with a side of syrup. Yep. Got the waffles there. And posability as, as unexpected. Uh, and it comes with a trailer that folds out and into a little playset. Nice. So, and you can fit I mean, probably it is uh, a child's line. So, this is a jug in there. It's for the kids. It's, dude, it's awesome. You know, Cyberverse is for the children. It's pretty sweet. I, t I tell you what, Dust, you, you do a little dry brushing, throw a wash on this. Looks no, like look at it. Look at you with the terms. Yeah, Mr. Fucking Crash Box in there. <laughs> Crash Box Jr. Oh, all right. Uh, moving along here uh, with the Hasbro no a noise. Oh, pardon yeah, me. You got it. Nice. Uh, the news. Uh, we have uh, some images of prototype Siege Prowl. So there he is. Now, Brian, how, how long have you, you've been doing Transformer news pretty long now? Uh -huh. You still sound nervous as like it's your first day. <laughs> yes. And I love it. <laughs> That's just, just the way I am. I'll never shake it, Dust. I'm not a natural like you. Keep going, man. Keep going. Uh, there he is from Don't the uh, back. Me, Brian. Don't try to dig at me. Clean there's, no, there's no more Dan. I'll go at you. All right. No problem, man. Hey, uh, see a need, fill a need. Uh, you guys may have not noticed. <laughs> But um, I grew a beard because we're down a beard since uh, just left. <laughs> so 
Um, you know, that can mean so many things. <laughs> <laughs> right now, I don't know if everybody understands what that could possibly yeah, yeah, yeah. mean. Everybody, do you know what a beard is <laughs> in other terms? <laughs> <laughs> oh, just... What Brian, Brian once again brings it. <laughs> Wonder power, superpowers activate. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can know it. Uh, Bobby, come on. Yeah, ring the bell. <laughs> oh man. Can't unring yeah. that bell. <laughs> and uh so here he is in I'm, alt mode. I'm married. It just put it up there. Up. <laughs> but that's not prowl. That's it's, it's, I think it's, it is. It's Cybertron Pro. Cybertron yeah. Pro. Okay, so Sideswipe looks so good. I know, I know, I know. This looks yeah. like, well, let's put some. Well, paint go, on. Back to, go back to robot mode. It, I mean, it's. You could see some of this. You could see some. Look how the feet are. You can see they tried to borrow some shit from the masterpiece. Yeah, they did. Like, like they did with the. Uh, I mean, they tried for what on their budget, like just like they did with Sideswipe. So. I mean, when once we see some color slapped on this thing, who knows? You is know? that is that what Transformers are doing now? They're doing X rays instead of silhouettes. <laughs> yeah, <maybe. laughs> but we'll see. We'll see when it gets some color on it. You know, Whoa, yeah. what the fuck is that? So basically, they're redoing Chromia in the same mold that Ooh. they did the uh, Moon Moon Racer in. So this is crap. We don't need to go through. This. <laughs> okay, great. But anyway, this is bullshit. They should just re-release the motorcycle one again. That might be the worst backpack ever. Look at that. Oh, go back bad. one. Go back to the. Oh wow. Bad. Oh, it's bad. Mm, she's going on. I think she's doing the Appalachian Trail. Whole thing at once. And you get a bird that transforms into an axe of some kind. Hey, you guys, and... you guys hear that noise? You hear that scraping? That's a barrel. Yeah, yeah. Here in the barrel. Sorry. Yeah, but this this could be a hammer, and it could be a hammer that's very very heavy, as you can see. Only those who are worthy can wield it, and Prowl is not worthy. So, I watched so. Uh, Infinity War last night. Speaking of hammers, hmm. Okay. Um, and now some big news here. Ooh. Uh, the fans' hobby, Double Evil, their overlord. We're finally seeing some. Things in full color. Not so they finally color. put all those parts together. Is that what you're yeah. saying? Yeah, that looks good. I'm not. I'm not an Overlord fan, but that looks good. Isn't this one we saw like two years ago? Yeah. Yep. Like I'm not even exaggerating. Wasn't yeah, it? They're not. It was been a while. Yeah, yeah been it was a while. Ago. Yeah, Chicago last year they had yeah. Yeah. two years ago they had a prototype of it. Yeah, it's good. It's and good. Rest it, man. that thing's gonna be. Ugh. Wow, if you're a fan, it is huge. I wish I was a fan, man. I wish I was a little bit taller. Nice articulation, yeah. nice and clean. Nice breast. This is the breast masters in there. Hey, are they going to make an upgrade kit for this one? Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was about to say. Yo, Dentoys, get in there. First person to stick two marshmallows in those holes wins the booby prize. <laughs> 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 that's because it's boobies. <laughs> oh. We need to, we need to uh, create a, a hip hop group called Breast Masters. So we got the articulated fingers. And there he is next to Power Baser, who's also a pretty big boy. Fans Project. I mean, Fans Hobby's doing a great job. You know, Power Baser and just that model in general just reminds me of, you know, Prime was past his prime and he was sitting around drinking beer and they're like, hey, Prime, we got to get back in the fight. And he puts on his, his fighting pants with his big beer belly and <laughs> just goes out shooting. I don't know. I don't yeah, know. for sure. I can see that. Pop no belly butt prime, no butts aren't hurt, just yes. big bellies. <laughs> Rotad. Ro That's a get her done prime. <laughs> get her done. Get her prime. done prime. <laughs> somebody make the, the trailer so get yeah, somebody, her done. Let me do something with that. Will you? Hey, yeah, the Photoshop <laughs> Warriors activate. We need a get her done yeah. prime. Get her done prime. <laughs> Soundway Bill say, like, nice shooting, Tex. <laughs> there you go. All right. Pew, pew. pew. And there we got. Uh, Hold on a second. Eric Tron is in the chat. Shout What's up, Eric? You what showered today, buddy? I hope a window's open. <laughs> Eric, Eric Tron is definitely in for the uh, MP44. Eric Tron, are you uh, are you are you eighteen yet? He is. I think he is. I think yeah. I think he can graduate. He did. Nice. Maybe. All right. Sorry. 
to interrupt. No problem. So here is uh, Overlord in his base mode. And you got lights, lots of nice accessories here. You got his guns that uh, pop out here, articulated a robotic arm. I cannot a, wait to see all of the... Uh, repair bay of some kind. All of the pictures of this. And some satellite. Can it combine with any other base modes? Oh, I don't know if it can do the old uh, Titan War Titan Return stuff. Perhaps. Hmm. Nice, nice little molded in. Uh, is what, that what one is of his it? titties? Is that a titty right there that's ready to sit yeah, next to you? Could be. Could be. Dust what do you call this? Cackpit. Yeah, it sure it is. <laughs> <laughs> we get a I'm not even going to go that cheap. It's cackpit. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see here. And there he is in jet mode. Looking good. Nice and clean on the bottom, I guess. That's the torso <laughs> part. Yeah, man, I really wish I loved I, I had any type of attachment to this character. Man. I wish I loved you. <laughs> I wish I had a and little bit of love for you. Because I, I got nothing else to fucking buy. The pieces have been made and they are currently go. being assembled. Uh, this is something uh, uh, from Planet uh, Express. We talked about this guy. Or yeah, we talked about that, right? Um, yeah, we talked about this a couple weeks ago. Uh, if you order now, you get a free accessory of some type. So, is it sauerkraut? Possibly. Might be uh, some beans. Pork and beans. <laughs> I love this the way the sauerkraut part. becomes this, such a fucking thing. <laughs> this chat is just killing me tonight. <laughs> In a cockpit. <laughs> Chat squad is in. And this picture's out of order, so fail on my part. Uh, Chris, hot soldiers. Yeah. Hot soldiers here. You got a prowl. Fucking looks good. Holy looks good. shit. Looks like it's straight off the cartoon. Hey, man. Yeah, yeah, the only looks good, man. No, this isn't a knockoff company. I have a hard time keeping track of all this no, fucking hot, legend. Hot soldiers is the real deal. Okay. There it looks there. good. Is there other pictures? Just just the one. Ah. These are. Just but yeah, I mean, it looks it looks really nice. I'll probably pick that one up. Um, and on to Toy World Devi news. Real, real <laughs> quick, that hot sold is, uh, that, that what's that retail on that? Do you know? It's oh, like thirty five, I think. Thirty thirty five. It's still fifteen dollars too much, man. Just suck it up and fucking buy. It. I ain't doing it. Not doing it. Buying ah. pots and pans and fucking look. <laughs> look I ain't buying. I never got the pots and pans. If you, know? you if you take it's that, if you on the pans, nay, all right. If you take that X Men thing you got and divide that by you know ten, you have uh, you have the money. The yeah, but, but I got Polly Walnuts Wolverine here, man. I gotta have Polly Walnuts so, Wolverine. So in, in the uh, chat, Deluxe says Hot Soldiers will be around fifteen. Josh Fisher says Hot Soldiers are trash. So and what's the is, is this the KO company? Is this what's going on with? No, nah, I think they're no. probably not as good. I know they, they made a, they made that. Scales a little bit too much. Well, too they made the sound wave and the blaster that are not blasters, sound wave and sound blaster, right? Yeah, they made a bumblebee that had a long ass torso. Yeah, I don't like think it was. Oh, yeah, yeah, it looked like me. I don't think, <laughs> I mean, I, didn't I don't think any of those were well received. <laughs> yeah. Do they, but do they scale with the rest of the crew? Uh, maybe there's posse in here can tell us how they scale. The company that makes the ones that are out of scale. Oh, uh, that's, Iron Factory makes the small. No, no, Iron Factory is the more style. So me Mecca, Mecca fans. Something. Mecca Hakahani High, Hakahani. Yeah, but they're, they're knockoff. They're upscale knockoffs. Okay, so Mecca Mecca fans toys is the bad one. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just. Kinda, I don't know that anything's bad in this, but well, um, you know, they don't it doesn't match, and they're stealing designs. So that's the bad one. Sure. Shout, that, that's the. I'm not even gonna say it. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it alone. <laughs> All right. So, uh, moving on, uh, as I was saying before, uh, Toy World Devi News is a weekly event. It is. Um, this is a photograph of how they're. This is a photograph. Correct. What kind of wizardry is this, Brian Brink? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> uh, bring more coffee, man. Come on, bring the coffee. Bring the motherfucking uh, coffee. What we have here is the weathered yellow Devi package mm. in the gift set. And for those of you who have bought a Toro Devi before, uh, especially the green one, you'll notice that they were uh, packed in semi-alt mode Yeah, um, for the most yeah. part. Well, here they are giving it to you, so all you got to do is put it together. That's perfect, man. Yeah. Now do you think – did they make a weathered green one yet? 
Uh, not yet. Oh, no, yeah. but I can. I, I know what's coming. I can. I was going to say. I, anybody wants a weather devastator? Send me your devastator. It'll get weathered. And I won't leave it outside. I promise. And it'll smell sweet like cinnamon. It'll smell like cinnamon, probably. And oregano. Maybe. Don't give away all the secrets. <laughs> At least you didn't mention the cilantro. Damn it. <laughs> In the uh, time. Damn it. No, nah, I just cilantro. want to point out that mm. there is a, there's a little piece of treasure in here. Really? Yeah, you look here in the middle. This little piece pops out, and you see what's in there? Treasure. Damn. Fucking super awesome, clean, not weathered, silver thigh pieces. So for those of you who have like the gift set of the green one and you don't like your green thighs you go ahead and buy this weathered yellow one and your dreams come true you get your silver thigh pieces just want to put that up. Wow. Mm. i love my green thighs i'm sure there's other ways to get silver ones but it's not funny if i don't mention it that way all right yeah, uh moving on to oh, that was supposed to be funny uh sorry i okay. i did I, I had you a beard though didn't i all yes, right all okay. right, so uh, moving on, we we saw this for the uh, the King Primal uh, Throne guy. Well, for the regular one that's out that matches the the original Deco from Beast Wars. Hey, Throne guy! Hey, and Throne guy! He's you the are Throne guy. He's sitting on the throne. You're getting articulated hands and forearm armor and guns and stuff like that for that, and that's what he looks like. And he looks good. Great. Yeah. All right. Now. Well, something I found from the uh, third party unlimited page. Hey, hey, Brian, I need you to read this word for it. Uh, absolutely, I will. It looks, uh, like, so, it looks like the Hurricane BX font. So, from uh, from our good friend Keith over at KFC, <laughs> uh, we have some news. It says here, uh, maximize fit in K history, super god plus god bomb. The king is coming in 2019. The life of the Desteron Legion. Now features are one Renley. What's that word there, Dust? Renley. Renley. And after Cat that? Cat Cat Pit. Pit. Yeah. Equipped with Earth Driver. Two super Renley car equipped with MP car. Three Renley body attached energy treasure room. Four squad cockpit. Cat. Can carry three four squad cockpit can carry three drivers. Hmm, interesting. Uh, we got the five sacred car compartments carry two MP cars. Their math just does not add up here. And we got six. <laughs> six. Hang on, I think these are numbered. I think that's oh. what this is. I feel uh, like I, I feel like this is an episode of Lost. Uh, yeah. If we add everything together, we're gonna get to the get off the island. I, I think it's numbered. Number one, it's Renly cockpit. Hey, well, Number somebody write a letter. Don't, don't ruin it, Chris. I like the okay. way he's doing it. Yeah, yeah. Well, someone write a letter to Keith and uh, teach him nope. about bullet points. Yeah, I think. I've, I've got, <laughs> you know, we're gonna get to the bullet pointed uh, part of the part of these. Uh, these presentations later on. Yeah. yeah. So we got five sacred car compartments carry two MP cars. I guess here we go. Feature number six: base mode, fully restored settings. Now, we're, now it seems a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And then feature number seven: all metal coating, alloy mm. material, rubber tires, super movable settings. You can think of it once in place. Please look forward to it. Oh, now that makes sense. So. <laughs> That being said, or attempted to being said, here we have what it is. We have renders of KFC doing a out of nowhere fucking key <laughs> a power fuck? master. I get my like, dude. That looks, that looks like a thing. Thing. that looks like it's a Hasbro. Product. Can I say something? What I want is my fucking C spray. <laughs> so, so I, I, I read along with you, <laughs> and and hang on. When you, when you show me the picture, only one word came to mind. Oh, oh! <laughs> I'm sorry. I guess I didn't sell it very well. No, 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 no. You sold it. All right. It's the fact that this is what it was, and I honestly hadn't seen these pictures yet. So. Well, Chris, I mean, to be fair, this is oh. only a render. Yeah, it's it's the fucking goddamn life, shit, man. It's been done as Power Master, Power Baser. Nobody give a fuck about Master Force. Stop. Hang on, guys. You forgot. The get her done. Yeah. yeah. Definitely the get her done vote. So this is this is get her done dad after he's been on uh doing doing the DDP yoga and he slimmed down a little bit. But he's still got the little pooch. 
All right. And uh, C transforms into a truck as expected. And here's where a little oh, that's uh, even worse. The yeah. can fit in there. I'm going to. It, it kind of looks like the original. <laughs> hey, guys, just to let you know this trailer leaves plenty of room for, you know, customization. Yeah. Now, for I never saw Master Force, but did the alt mode still have like these tacky things in here from the toy? Does anybody know? I know in the comic book, he just looked like G1 Optimus Prime when he transformed. So I've been waiting for a company to make it make him do that. But pardon me, he transforms into his trailer. Here's where the sacred uh, car compartments are, I, I expect. It gets worse with every photo. <laughs> yeah. And uh, this is the God Bomber attachment, which is basically a parts former. And uh, they're not ready to show you the front of that yet. So here's what it looks like from the back when he has the armor applied. You know that or Antoine missed the other one Please. from the slideshow. All right. And he comes with his little uh, Power Master guy that transforms to his engine. Uh, mm -hmm. His name is High Q. That's what I, the, the human was. Yeah. Um, let's see. And so back to things. Hydra, for those of you who have been waiting, are coming. He's coming out soon. Yeah, I think uh, by the twenties or something like that, December twenties or something before Chinese New Year. So we should have them by the uh, the beginning of the uh, year. And they give you some options here. Um, you know, fans toys. It's a lot of shit for swapping out face plate or excuse me, chest plates. But uh, you know, this looks kind of benign. There's I mean, the boobies. Yeah. Um. So what? So what is that? One's uh, more toy. One's more tune, probably. Correct. Yeah. I expect this is toy. Oh yeah, with the detail in there. Yeah. yeah. And uh, he transforms into all his modes. I didn't get every pick here. We've seen this before. Yeah, we, we've seen it before. I better, make, I better make sure I don't have this on pre-order still. <laughs> yeah, you better go check. One fifty nine ninety nine out of the account. Uh, what do you guys think about this? It's Looks dope. good. It's dope. It's it's out it's out of the realm of what I'm doing, and this is fucked up because I've been watching a lot of headmasters lately, and. He's in Headmasters, of course. I'm going to get him because it's a six shot. Right. But it's making me think if I want to do Headmasters now. Well, they're out there. There's some really good ones, too. Yeah. So, you know, I already had a couple of, but do I really want to go down that route? And, you know, I could easily I could easily just get the yes models on the Autobot side. But to uh, get Ugh. the Decepticons, I would have to $159.99 for Actually, Lupus. One fifty nine ninety nine for Dracula, and that fucking kills me. Hmm. Too so. bad you didn't make these decisions a while back. Yeah, because there weren't they all on clearance for the Black Fridays and. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. So I don't know. It's something that I'm I'm kicking in the back of my head. We'll see. So Dust, uh, you posted this in the group today. Yeah, my bad crop. Yeah. So uh, quality's not too good, but uh, there he is in color. Wait a minute, your bad crop like. Like the beans didn't come in, or the corn got threshed by the tornado. What do you mean by bad crop? It was the uh, the beans. Okay. The beans didn't quite make it. I had to flick them a little too much. Gotcha. I flicked gotcha. Them too much yeah, you can't. Them. If you do it too much, it doesn't work. Yeah, it loses all the sensitivity, and you don't get that protein. Right. No, oh, dude. I I I like the way this looks. The only thing I keep remembering is that big ass fucking crane fucking neck module and put his head on top of his fucking chest. Oh, that's right, because his head's like attached. Yeah, to it's, it. yeah it's, it's like a fucking... Yeah. <laughs> it fucking... Go, go, gadget, neck! You know? Yeah, here's the car looks pushing good. the uh, first side swipe. That's not it really too looks good. I would really like to know what their fucking deal is. I swear, man, it just, right they, they just there. took a fucking picture of fans' toys and said, we're going to make it look just like that. Yeah. That's just me. So... Yeah, I mean, I, when we went through this, when we first got this news, I mean, I took a hard look at my fans' toys. Uh, is, it, is, it worth, is it worth swapping out? Yeah, and I think I'm not going to swap. I think, I think I'm good. But we'll I think see. what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to purchase it, and I'm going to compare it together. And, of course, I'll probably keep the fans' toys, but, you know, being that it's official, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This is a this is a hard time. I mean, Maybe. well, well, thus just to sway you from a tune perspective, like this isn't gray. Yeah, yeah. I'm not, gray. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not really oh, hard, hell bent on white. It. Yeah, I'm not really hell bent. They'll on that. they'll put it out in a year and paint it. Yeah. So no, I, don't I, don't, know. I wouldn't do that to them. 
But it looks really good. It really does look good. I didn't like I didn't like some of the pics I've seen of the earlier stuff, but this really looks good. This really caught my attention. All right. And uh, moving on, just some more. Uh, Tyler, I hope I'm not stealing your thunder. But uh, oh, you're good. Okay. So we got some more pics of the. Flame. Well, we got a beard and a thunder thief now. <laughs> so we're oh, just like, like Dan Jisker here, yeah. Dan wait in. a minute. Is Dan Jisk's beard or is the other way around? I don't know. Confusing. <laughs> Pursuing a teal Dan. <laughs> teal Dan. All right. That, that's what that, that Bab just preached there. Wow. Everybody's got to fucking look up the, the word beard. <laughs> nice. Don't look up Beard Island or whatever. All right. No. So here we go. We got uh, Flames Toys. Uh, who's this guy in? Star uh, Saber. Thank you, Star Saber. Wait, so he's got whist, a whist pivot? Wow, whist. whist. Look at that whist pivot. It's a whist pivot. Whist pivot. Yeah, he can get. He can do that sassy, uh, you know, hip thing. He, he could probably floss with this articulation, he right, could. Chris? I yeah, that's right. So Brian has also uh, learned about some some Fortnite dances this can weekend. He dab? Like, can you dab a little bit? <laughs> sure, you can dab. I can only floss. I can do the arm part. I don't got the coordination for the hip part. It seems uh, he can. He's got ab crunch forward and backward. No doing, way. It looks like he's doing DDP yoga. <laughs> He is. He's an armless guy doing DDPO. And he can do the robot with his arms. Yeah, but what's, what's that stand that, that's up his ass? Uh, that's just holding him there, I guess. Uh, can you he know? do Can he do all that without the fucking stand? I, I, we'll see. We'll see. Uh-huh. Uh, here, you can pivot his wrist. Wrist pivot. <laughs> yeah, wrist pivot. <laughs> wrist wivel. Whip. 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 Swist wivel. Whip. Yeah. Whip. There it is. Um, and I still got the stand. Oh, I thought I was maybe the, would be the one. Good. That I mean, but there he is. This I thing really looks. I didn't care for this fucking guy at all, but I, I I would be happy with the KFC. He looks phenomenal. Oh, not KFC. The uh, the the masterpiece. No, you wouldn't. No, no. And <laughs> see, he's trying to. He's got super duper knee joint articulation, so that he can get poses like this. I was wow. gonna say you have to take the leg off to do that. Nah, he can bow before Zod, do all that good shit. Right before he stuck his hand into the uh, holy water and did the uh, crucifix. Make like a high. Before he sat in the pew. And as you can see, he's got something on his back there. Whist pivot. And that's this. He got some wings. He's got some wings that open up like that and open up like that. This is Gundam. It, looks, it does definitely look a lot very Gundam. I mean, I, I will say these these are all beautiful figures. I don't have any of these, and it looks very gung, um, Gundam. But, but they're all reminiscent of that style, which is fine. I, I, I think they're beautiful, well done figures. I haven't I haven't messed with the Tarn. I messed with the uh, the first one, whatever, whatever that was. The guy with the cape. What's his name? Cape dude. Okay, his name's Cape dude. Moving on. <laughs> Uh, this is it. This is Drift. my show. Thank you, thank you, the guy who doesn't collect Transformers. It fucking chimed in. <laughs> oh, I, I thought you were talking about the other one. You fucking fucks. Was that was that seventy slides? <laughs> yes, that's it. That's 70, had like 60 or 70 slides. That wasn't seventy slides. I tell what you what, look man. in the corner. It tells you. Oh, Time really? flies wow. when you're having fun. Slide, yeah, slide yeah. when you're having fun. Is if that... if this company decides to do these like in a Gen One motif, I might be in trouble. I, yeah, yeah. yeah, I, yeah, have, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I might be back in. It'd be the I'm, fucking hot toys of fucking Gen Transformers, you know. Who was that? Brian, was it you and I talking about the hot toys primes this weekend? Uh yeah. Yeah, yeah about how it's really just a piece of shit. Now now no Tyler, would you want it to be not super over stylized, but just a little tad, a little little love in there? Yeah, I want it to be because I don't. Do you want it to? Do you want it to be like this, like super stylized, like a, a not super, not super like, stylized. This is, this is super hyper. This is hyper yeah. stylized. I'm saying, like, if you add more of the aesthetic of like some of the Prime One Studio stuff that's in the G One realm, realm, I think I would be in. What about like, um, like Chris, what Chris said? It's definitely a Gundam look. What about um, like you know the, the Revoltech that made the uh, the non posable. I mean, non-transformable figures a while back. Yeah. 
Yeah, the what if that style, or... but yeah, what about like that style, but done in this quality and size? But they were very dumbed down. Those Rebel Techs, they, no, they, they were, they were like, they were, but it was also very stylized with vents and and, and oh. a couple of lines here and there. And the Schwartz. Hey, uh, Rob M, I need you to wield your wrench, buddy. Oh boy. Uh, all right. Hey, to, I'll go next. We'll save the. We'll, we'll save the. We'll, we'll give the wallets a little bit of a break. Okay. <laughs> Before Tyler destroys us, though. All oh. right. Boom! 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 There we go. Here. Let me get set up here. All right. We upside down. That's it. What's that? What's that? The Method Man cover we got right there. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought it'd be uh, be difficult and do it upside down. That's what she said. I bring the pain. Oh, car to the. Doom, 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 doom. Uh, wow. I, real cool. you know what? I, I fucking um. Coming out of the woodwork today for yeah. to be fans of the realm. Oh yeah. Well, we. It's probably like four or five years. Sure oh, um, but uh, once again, I signed up for Amazon Prime Music again, man. The, the premium. Uh, it's literally my turn to do my presentation. I, uh, well, I thought you were trying to keep it. Okay. Are you talking to me or just trying to fill in the time here? No, I'm sorry. Nothing. Did I not mute myself just then? No. <laughs> oh, well, my wife's standing in front of me with a flashlight saying, this You makes a great class. That's throat. <laughs> And that's yeah, it. It's my turn to do my presentation. Hey, 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 bring her back. We got, we got. Christmas. Come on, hey, come here, Kelly. Come here. We got Christmas right around the corner. She come got here. anything going on, or is it too late to order some shit? Hey, it's we're trying to do an Xbox promo. Are you gonna come back? We're doing an Xbox promo. Oh, no, she's mad at me. So. Oh man, she makes a great glass. All right. Uh, da -da -da. <laughs> All right, sorry. We got some fun things going on here tonight. All right, so moving on here. Uh, Mortal Kombat Storm Collectibles put out a teaser for not a ninja figure, Baraka. Baraka? I'm not familiar with this. Mortal Kombat 2. That's an odd choice. Yeah. Um, yep. I don't know why they went with that. Like, All right, so do they have anybody else besides the nin ninjas out and Goro? No. So, no Liu Kang, no, no John Cage, who's, who's, no Kano. Who's the Who's the Triple H looking dude uh, that comes with the throne? Oh, uh, Shao Kahn. Yeah, he <laughs> looks like Triple H from WrestleMania. Like, it's weird that they're going to Baraka from Mortal Kombat too. I don't know. This is an odd choice, but honestly, it kind of looks like it's the it's that Ninja Buck more than likely. So, but that's the only image they released. Not a lot to it. Yeah. Not a lot to it. So, um, all right, got a lot of NECA news. So up for up first is a Predator two pack from NECA that is hitting stores now. This is Bad Blood versus Enforcer, which this appears to be from the Dark Horse comic. You guys that read any of the Predator comics back in the day? No. No. Oh, uh, got Dark Horse stuff, yes. Yeah, that's the, looking at the art here. I'm assuming that's yeah, it, really it, yeah. It's very, very ribbon. Very, 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 That's you know, very reminiscent. Never really talked about it on here before, but that's kind of how I I fell in love with with these two franchises was through the Dark Horse comic. <laughs> I just really enjoyed them. Um, man, we're coming out of the woodwork tonight for sure. Uh, yeah, box images here, and here's an out, out of out of uh. Box image. Oh, I'm loving these heads here <laughs> that are like hooked, hooked heads. Those are pretty, uh, pretty interesting there. Some bloody weapons and then the normal accoutrement that you get with these figures. So Dude, uh, those head accessories, heads on pikes. Yeah. Or if hooks, that's fucking. Yeah. Nice. Looks like, uh, yeah, look, it looks like it's something straight out of the comic, so it's pretty cool. Nick is teasing the cape now for their quarter scale shredder from the Ninja Turtles movie line. So it's like we're getting a softish goods cape. Uh, softish. You can wear that on your head. I could. Believe um, in. Yeah. 
be able to keep all the bad thoughts out. Uh, Necker released images of their god of war, uh, Kratos, and forgive me, Atreus. I've, I've never played this game before. Two pack. Um, some pretty cool uh, images on the box. This is a super popular game, so I thought I'd drop this in. I know we have some some fans in the realm, um, but the box is pretty neat. It opens on each side magnetically. It looks like so the the little boy with some pretty mythic looking accessories. Yeah, and is that thick? Is that an homage to what's the book? What's this movie? The one with the flying white dog dragon. Never ending story. Yes. A tray use. Is that what that is? I don't know. I'm not familiar. But there it is in all their package glory. So this is probably hitting pretty soon. Uh, this is pretty cool. So um, the Vic character from the Megadeth album covers is uh, is coming from NECA. This is really all they released was this image. So not as cool as Ollie with uh, Realm on his knuckles oh. from. Uh, you know, the round shirt, but it's still pretty cool. This is another one I always enjoyed. A cool cover. Yeah, there were a lot of cool Megadeth covers. Let's see here. All right. Up next. Oh, look, more NECA. This is for all the horror fans out here. It's the Nightmare on Elm Street accessory set. I believe we took a look at this a while back, but here's, here's some, uh, some box images here. And what's inside, you get... Oh, things I know nothing about because I can't say I've ever even seen these movies. That Freddy TV from, I think that was the third one. That thing messed me up when I was a kid, man. Like, that one got me. You got the, the two uh, street poles and then this, uh, I don't know what this is. It's a giant snake Freddy coming out of the ground. And the TV thing is creepy as hell. I think that picture is just for you, Todd. Yeah, no. See, now I'm having flashbacks to the hospital. Yeah. Yeah, no. Funny story, I was in a hospital Probably in the past five years. And the TV was very similar to that. Was similar. All right. Um, there's the newborn alien from Alien Resurrection. I believe it was a Resurrection. Was that the last one? No. Was it Resurrection? Anybody? Bueller? Uh, yes, Resurrection. All right. Inbox image of that. <laughs> hey, we're done with NECA. Congratulations, everybody. So this kind of popped up out of nowhere. There's a Marvel Select. Disney Store exclusive Venom that's out. That comes with some pretty interesting heads uh, and whatnot. There's a couple of shots of the box. Um, yeah, the heads are pretty wild on this. It's very comic heads. Yeah, but, this is nuts. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Do the tentacles come off? Um, well, at least one of them does. A couple of them do. I bet you they all do. I would imagine they do. Wait, go back to uh, the box pick. Yeah, look. On oh, the yeah, yeah. Line. Right here. You're right. So it shows up. All right. Hey, look, you got to out, out analyze Brink. Oh, oh yeah. Sorry. Mm, not out bearded, yeah. though. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Never out bearded. A <laughs> um, couple of three different heads. And there's the back, which is a freaking mess. What is going on there? Oh, it looks like it's a backpack. That's probably what it is. It's just. Oh, it just sli it slides right on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, no, because it comes over. It's kind of hard to see. Yeah, let's try to find that out because that would be pretty fucking shitty if that's that didn't come off. Well, I mean, it does. If you look here, you look here, it's off. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah, like yeah, a mess, yeah. mess of something. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is this the Venom for you, Dust? No, I already got my Venom. Yeah, but this one looks more Venom-y. <clears throat> it does it look more venomy, really? I, I don't, really, maybe. Brink? Does do you really think it does, does this look more venomy to you? Oh, you know, not with that stupid white spider on his chest. Yeah, yeah. Well, how? Oh, 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 I don't even know you anymore, Brian. <laughs> you go away for a weekend and look at you. <laughs> Who are you? Wow. All right. I got, I've I've gotten past that by not, oh. watching, not by not watching the movie. <laughs> well, here's a here's a picture here of all three of the heads. I and... like those. I like the way the heads are made. It looked very Sam Keith. Yeah, very Sam Keith. The way they did that. And these are what twenty twenty five bucks. Yeah, 25. about twenty twenty five bucks. Yeah, and they're pretty big, bad. bulky fucking figures. Yeah, man. this will be an eight inch figure probably. This yeah. is a big unit. Look it's not it. super articulated, but it's pretty. It's they make a good product. I mean, this thing. Eh, it's probably got single jointed elbows and knees. It's probably mm -hmm. it's really weak points. But other than that, it looks like it's got some decent. Marvel Select to make a pretty strong bird. Yep. 
Um, here are images of the upcoming Captain Marvel line. I think we looked at these before, but these may be a little bit different images. So get ready. Um, there's some other Captain Marvel merchandise that I thought some of us, uh, and Tyler, I might be stepping on your toes a little bit, but um, Captain Marvel, the um, I don't even know what line it is, but the, <laughs> the big head doll with, with, with the, cat, the cat that they have to name. Um, Goose, but Marvel's Goose, because I guess Goose is its registered trademark. I can only imagine that her, the cat being named Goose is some sort of Top Gun nod. Um, but uh, here she is out of package Dude, with, the, with the cat in the backpack. It's quite an accessory. Um, and she has brushable hair. But don't worry if you wanted her in their Star Force uniform. That is also going to be available. But no cat this time, though. So, But you get a helmet. You get a helmet that has hair. Um so here she is with the helmet hair and the, uh, yeah. Oh wait, there's one more in case you needed to shoot fire <laughs> at the hands of your, um, your figure. Oh, this, one doesn't appear to have, this may be a different one. This one doesn't appear to have, so, oh, it's got sound. <clears throat> oh, there's you, more than one. There's three. And if you, nice. touch her, if you touch her in the chest, um, it lights up and, yes, um, yes. This, this is now, are these are these are these in hitting stores now, or this is going to be from uh, the first quarter of 2019? I'll have to check with my sources, but I think mm. these are going to be out right in time for Christmas. Stuff. Nice. Actually, I have no. Keep an eye out on that postman, brother. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So here, and here's a picture of that last one. Dude, you kind of, you kind of. Dolls are spoiling everything. Well, she's definitely uh, ready for fucking childbearing. Yeah, I will say these uh, next I pictures. Guess. These next pictures have some kind of spoilers if you really look hard. I'm just warning everybody. I've already been spoiled, but um, it's not. I don't think it's that big of a deal. So here's the Captain Marvel uh, figure in box. This is the regular Captain Marvel. It's with, the rooster version. Right. So she's got the uh, I just washed my hair and didn't blow dry it this morning look, as well as the Mohawk head, which is pretty cool with the hair. Extra set of hands on her. And here she is out of the box. Um, I actually have the comic version of this, which is pretty damn close to this, to be honest. And here's the second version of this, which is her with her flight jacket on, and it comes with this cat. Meow. Right. The cat. What's up with that goes. face? She's got some short hair. Is that shorter or just winded hair? Uh, I don't know. Short. I don't know. It might have just been one of those days where, you know, they forgot to put her weave in. Yeah. So I think the spoiler picture is next. So I'm gonna count down to three. Speaking three. of just one of those days, days you change your outfit. Did I what? Oh, please don't tell me it's the fucking cat that took his eye out. I don't know. I'm just. Oh saying. come on! I know they talked about it, but please. So here's a uh, here's. Samuel I don't want to know that this fucking cat took his eye. I out. bought three of these just for the suit body, to be honest. And there's the cat with uh, uh restraints on. <laughs> then you get uh, you get Captain Marvel in her Star Force outfit, which includes some weird clip-on get-ups for her wrists that makes her look very strange. And then finally, there's uh, one of the scrolls. He has a name. I don't remember what it is, but people, uh, I'm sure, will army build the scroll. Leader scroll. Nice outfit. Yes. Thanks, Bryn. Thanks for noticing. Okay, um, <laughs> and uh, that is it. <laughs> that is the end of the presentation. So you are welcome. Well, I think uh, shouldn't someone be a. <laughs> yeah, it looks like we're getting a little uh, spam in the chat, but uh, I'm on it. So, uh, hey, shut up. you know, you made it win. Yeah, yeah. You know, you made it win. Oh, from, from, from blue to black. Hey, Dust Mike's changed clothes, and Jose has a red curtain. What's up, Jose? <laughs> What's up, guys? What, what is going on? Here? Burgundy. Ron Burgundy in the house. Burgundy. <laughs> what is good, Jose? What's up? I'm good, man. I'm good. You sure? You sound here good. Here, hopping on. You sound very but good. Just to do this little photo spotlight. He's getting right down the business. Yeah, you ain't fucking around. It must be a wrestling night. Is there a big wrestling thing going on tonight? Get back to that Raw. Dude, I will <laughs> tell you. <laughs> so, so we do this on Mondays. I watch normally watch Raw on Hulu on Tuesday morning. 
in the past month, they have not had that shit up till like Friday, and by then everything's ruined. Really? No, I'm surprised. Hulu is usually on point with that. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. It's usually yeah, it's usually there the next day, but you get it's a edited down version. Yeah, you get the you get the you might miss the potatoes, but you get the meat. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So to speak. Yeah, but sometimes the potatoes, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, it's the potatoes, like my wife tonight. She made well, saying, chicken and potatoes. dumplings with potatoes. What? Yeah. That's not how it works. <laughs> I'm just telling you what I had for dinner. Mm. It's a lot of carbs. Are you gonna cut them after the new year? You cut gonna carb. that uh you're gonna uh-huh. cut that. Uh, you're gonna join the photo. The what is it? The wellness challenge. I'm really trying to find somebody with some fin fin. I don't know if that's still around. <laughs> but I heard it works. I heard it works really good, and I don't care about FDA regulations. <laughs> I'm also gonna get a Brazilian butt lift in a hotel room. Mm. <laughs> Careful with those. Yeah. Well, All you right. put me onto it, Jose. <laughs> when my girl knows this girl, you know, wake up with no you know. kidneys. <laughs> in a fucking bathtub of ice. Yeah. What a note around my fucking wrist. I might have three kidneys. I might smuggle <laughs> one into me. That kidney's full of cocaine. You got to go to Mexico. <laughs> Wait, that's the other way around. Never mind. Okay. Sorry. All right. No problem. No problem. All right, guys. This is the photo spotlight where we feature photos from Instagram that have used the hashtag Realm of Collectors. Realm. 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 So uh, each and every single week, I search through that hashtag to pick out the photos to feature here on the show. So first one up from the Brinkalizer himself. Oh, wow. is, this hey, hey. is this is this the Brinkalizer's first spotlight? I think it's it's his no. one here, unless unless Jay Ruse is used to feature. Sure, is it? Yeah, we, I, I the it's, a new se- it's a new season. The sack <laughs> so what's so what's that going rate to get bought in there, Brink? Is it five bucks, ten bucks? <laughs> No, sir. <laughs> you got to get yourself a dio, and you got to got to get some moss. It's all about moss. Up. Being a moss master. Then you. It, I will say, Brian painted that that log that Link's laying on. That's right. He painted it himself. So uh, yeah, I mean, here it is, uh, Jose. Um, it, do you want to critique it? Or um, no, go ahead. I, I just like it. I like the way Link is just laying up right there with the goblin right there about to get the drop on him. It's a pretty cool know. shot. Yeah, man. Link's just taking a breather. You know, he know. runs around. Yeah. It's tough being left-handed. I tell you what, man. It's so a, hey, it's it's a it's a tough <laughs> job, fucking being that dude. Man. <laughs> and, you know, yeah. Uh, how many times a day can you go do 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 do? You know, <laughs> he's there taking a breather. And here comes Snag. The mythic legion Ooh. goblin sneaking up, mythic. getting ready to uh, take him down and steal what he's got. It's a mythic. Dun, 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 dun. It's a mythic. Yeah, but it's a pretty dope shot, Brink, and and the diorama and everything just helps to sell the photo. So that's Thanks. what I concluded. It. It's pretty pretty dope. Good stuff. Thanks, man. man. I appreciate it. Wow. It's all about that Tuesday light life. Get a no photo problem. This bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Next one. <laughs> <laughs> Next one up is from Star Wars. Star Wars a holic. Is he on Tuesday night too? <laughs> <laughs> I think this is uh what is it? An Imperial Patrol Trooper or something like that. Um on his bike, speed bike looks pretty cool with the background that he used here. Mm-hmm. Um, I like the effect. It looks like it's it's like art. So that is uh that is the new um hover bike scout on an old speeder. Pretty cool. Nice. Yeah, it looks really good. It stood out to me when I was going through the hashtag. So great shot from Star Wars Aholic. All right, next one up from Homicidal Toys. I think he used a Marvel Legend Punisher here with you know an accessory and some effects. Yeah. Uh, kind of made it look like a comic book, you know, real striking look. I'm digging it. Yeah. Now is, cool. that, is that the crossbones head? Or is um, that the Punisher head? That it I think it's the uh, Spec Ops Punisher. Oh, cool. I think it doesn't. I don't know. It might be something he made or something. It, it, it doesn't quite look the same. It could just be the effect, though. It's pretty yeah. awesome. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Looks almost like a panel out of a comic book. I like the effect piece he got there for the for the machine gun. So yeah, cool. 
All right, next one up from Franchise Photography. We got Raph here about to take down some Foot Clan. Uh, oh, nice. That looks good. This is where he's like, come on, how do you expect to beat me? <laughs> I keep forgetting that I have ordered, I have these turtles already paid for through GameStop. I just keep forgetting it until I see pictures. I'm like, oh, yeah. Can get yeah are are these yeah. the six inch ones? Because I know they put out those big, uh, what was it, the 18 inch ones? So yeah, this, this, was, this would be right? small. Well, I, you know, I say that this could be some trick photography, but I think it is a small one. With some mm-hmm. articulated icons, ninjas, party people. Mm-hmm. What do they call it? Phase life. Huh. Anyways. Now is 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 this guy new? I don't remember seeing this guy's name before. Uh, yeah, I, think, ever... I think I might have featured him before, but okay. he is one of the newer guys that's used yeah. the hashtag. So pretty dope shot. Nice. All right, next one up from Marty McCusker. This one stood out as well. This is a uh, Ghost Rider. Looks like he's popping a wheelie with those flame effects in the forefront yeah. of the thing. Yeah. Right. on it. Yeah. The nice little. Good. Nice little glow, like to the to the flames. You know, looks really really good. Generic and, uh, sign in the back. Nice, like yeah. he's on the road. Yeah. And if I'm not mistaken, this, this is the Johnny Blaze Ghost Rider, right, Dust? Yeah. Yeah, it's the last what? one like, they put out in the, the bike with the bike pack. Yeah, it's not the uh, the old school. No, wait a minute. No, that's not that's not that one because that one's blue and this one's black. So, Ooh, interesting. Nice fire effect. Yeah. Looks good too. Even the way the kind of looks like it's glowing off the um the skull as well. Sure. So. You know, I saw um, a couple guys in the ACBA group, which um, it, anybody that doesn't know ACBA style is all tangible. So there's no special effects. There's no, you know, editing or anything, uh, which I can appreciate any toy photography. But that, I think that's a little more challenging. And I've seen guys that are using like to light to light that head up. They use a laser pointer. Yep. Mm-hmm. Onto the translucent part and it lights it up. I thought that was a pretty cool. Yeah, you need like twelve motherfuckers in a room just to get a fucking shot. <laughs> right, right. I need you to hold this. I need you to hold that. Hey, you know, this- <laughs> I, I, I've taken pictures before. And everybody in my family that was of, of sound mind to hold a light for me. So yeah, mm-hmm. awesome. Okay. Get it done. So dope shot from Marty McCusker. Wookie, come here. Hold this light over here. Will you? Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> all right next one from toy photography universe 2 this was a pretty cool shot um i think this is a mayfax superman with the sh fig arts justice league batman uh battling a, a giant clay face here i'm assuming that's what that character is um in gotham city you can see gotham city and the uh, bat signal in the background you know pretty that's pretty cool shot that's a, that is a wild figure i mean he's got like a suit jacket on one arm <laughs> A deformed hand and some doomsday stuff coming out of his back. That's bad shit. Yeah. Hey, quick question. Is there a toy photography universe one? I'm gonna have to search that out. We'll find out soon. But that's a pretty dope shot. Lots of things going on there. So it looks like you might have su- you know, uh supersized uh, the figure, the monster figure in the background, and then the- it looks pretty cool the way he got Batman on the arm there and Superman, you know, blasting him with the heat vision. So he put some time into it, so pretty nice shot. Oh, yeah, looks dope. All right, and, and that's it. If you guys uh, want to be featured, all you got to do is two things. All you got to do is post a toy photo on Instagram and use the hashtag Realm of Collectors. Realm. Realm. Uh, follow to help the Realm of Collectors hashtag so you don't miss out on any of those great photos. And most importantly, have fun. We're going to be posting all these photos on our Instagram, so make sure you follow us at Realm of Collectors and check them out on our website, realmofcollectors.com. And a uh, little bit of news, guys. Oh, 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 what do you mean? What do we got? We got news? We got news? Breaking news. Breaking hey, news. everybody, we got news. Breaking news. New <gasps> challenge awaits. Uh oh. I think oh. anybody used to watch the shows, you know, a couple of years ago. No, there was a little thing happening. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be coming back in a few weeks. Don't even Ooh. say anything. Just leave it alone. Look for it. Look for it, you know, after the new year. And uh, we're going to have some more details for you coming up in the next few weeks uh, leading up into the new year, guys. So mm. uh, look forward to it. A challenge. Get that new Instagram fucking page is rocking. A new challenger has appeared. Hmm. It's awesome. I'm looking oh. forward to it. Jose, I am. I am looking forward to making myself take pictures by having some sort of a theme, a reason, yeah. a reason to take the pictures. We should write a theme. A theme. Yeah. 
a, a lot of people were into it, I know, before. And, and I know the, the challenge aspect of it, I think, did push a lot of people to kind of do their best when taking yeah. the photo. So, and they had fun yeah. with it. You know what I'm we'll definitely so, build it up and, and make it strong in 2019, baby. Well, you know, yeah. it's, it's not only that. I think it gives you it gives you a, a reason to um, think outside the box a little bit. Some of the, the challenges we've done before, uh, you know, just uh, the topics, you know, it makes you really get out of your comfort zone, so to speak. So I'm looking forward to seeing uh, to seeing what what what's in store as we uh, get to the new year with this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So thank you, guys. Thanks. I appreciate it. Uh, we'll be getting those details for you soon. Um, for myself, check me out on Breaking the Mold tomorrow night, 8 p.m. with Brian Brink and a bunch of other cool guys. Mythic, and, uh, Mythic, Mythic guys. Tuesdays. <laughs> Mythic Tuesdays on the Realm Collector Channel. Tuesdays on the Realm of Collector Tuesdays. Channel. Tuesdays. Tuesdays. Mythic Tuesdays. It's yeah, Jose exactly. and the Mythic Boys. <laughs> <laughs> you got to come up. That sounds good. got to come up with a pro. Uh, you know, we got you know, to switch them to Monday so it could be Mythic Monday. Mythic Monday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not changing Monday, so fuck that. Mythic Tuesdays it is. <laughs> so, yeah, breaking the mode tomorrow. <laughs> and uh, check out Verbally Challenge with Harrick and BX on all audio platforms. Yeah, right? how you have it? Some Bumblebee reviews going on oh, there already. Tomorrow. Yeah, super super early. Uh, yeah, I was on there with uh, Jason, uh, Lowry, and uh, Chuck. Yeah, Chuck I heard. I heard he uh, heard Saturday night. He he uh, he went to see Bumblebee. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was an emergency. Uh, we had so. a nice little chat about it, and it's uh, you know if you guys seen the movie or if you know the first twenty minutes, twenty five minutes is non spoiler if you guys want to hear it, um, and then we get into it after that. How so, did yeah. how did you get? Um, how did I, I was a little confused because I didn't think that came out for like two weeks. How did you end up seeing it early? Yeah, it comes out on the twenty first. Um, I saw Lord Shadowkeeper. He posted on his Facebook. He was going to like an advanced screening, so I just you know searched Google real quick, um, and I found a couple of theaters uh, that were showing it. Um, the next day, I was checking on Friday, and it was for the next day on Saturday. Um, the first theater I checked was sold out. Um, the second one I checked, there was one seat left, and it was all the way like in the front of the theater, like second row. Um, so I copped it, you know, and saw it, and it was pretty cool. Is yeah, your next pretty door? Good. You know, yeah, it was. I was like leaning back on the chair so I could see as much as possible. Um, <laughs> you know, you what I'm saying? Night. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so uh, it, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. So I definitely recommend uh, checking it out, and uh, you know, and uh, and I'm looking forward to hearing everybody's thoughts about it uh, when they finally do see it. So, cool. all right, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. See you later, Jose. Thanks, buddy. Hey, man. Thanks, man. All right, guys. Peace. Did you guys see that uh, Amazon Prime is doing advanced screenings for Aquaman? I I did, and and it, on, the, on, the, on the television. No, you can. Oh. Yeah, you have to buy the tickets through Amazon. Prime. Even if it was free, I still would not go. Really? Yeah, oh, come you're on, not gonna man. See, man. You know what? I got lambasted over the weekend about my. Uh, <laughs> Not wanting to see that movie. I don't know. I mean, I just I'm afraid. Like, I'll get in the theater, and I want and you like it. And I you want, no, I want, like I want, it. I want some fucking corn on the cob so bad I can't stand it. <laughs> <laughs> and popcorn isn't good enough. And, it's you know, funny. I was talking with some people at work uh, this week, and they were like, "Yeah, Aquaman really was good." I said, "Yeah, you want some corn on the cob? Like, what are you talking about?" I'm like, "Oh, you didn't notice this?" And you went over to the you went over to the Jiffy Pop box that has him on it. I just right, it, right, it's, right, right, <laughs> frozen aisle, and I just uh, grabbed some cod, frozen cod corn. And I'm like, oh my god, I didn't really notice. Oh yeah, you didn't see the curling leaves that are coming up his fucking <laughs> arm. Oh, ho ho ho! Yeah, it's the Green Giant's fucking underwater cousin. <laughs> <sighs> you killed it with that one, man. I'll never, I can never, I can never look at that picture or the think, movie and not think that. Honestly, I think I ruined it for myself. If I'm being honest. So, <clears throat> now I'm kind of excited to see it. I think that's what we're going to see, like towards the end. You know, the the reveal of that. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Actually, I got a it phone sucks call. It's a morning. fucking dead universe, though, man. That's what sucks. And that's that's what I'm frustrated about. Is Putting your you time know? in. Yeah, we all put the time in. Yeah. For more time in for a fucking dead, dead universe. But hey, look, I have an empty detox. I have one hot, one um, DC hot toys figure left and two statues. Put the fucking tree in there. Well, you can get that. Uh, the the Aquaman statue we looked at last week. No. So my biggest regret as a, a, a one six collector is not just going after the Nolan verse stuff 
when I I should have just done that. What's it super high now? Um, it depends. I mean, like, it, well, yes, it is. So, like, the the DX, I think a DX eleven Joker, the Joker, yeah, is six hundred dollars. Yikes! Um, the the uh, depending on which Batman you get, you're looking at three to four. Um, that you can get a cat joke. Yeah, the ar- yeah the armory one is you know you get the armory with the suit and all the accessories. Bruce Wayne in his like three piece suit and Alfred, and it's. Actually, I know where I can get that for retail. It's still sitting in my local All right, car. so there's three. There's basically the basic three pieces that are going to run you some high money. Yeah, I mean, then there's, you know, Bane you can catch for 300 Yeah, that's um, that, Yeah, that's Catwoman that. you can you can get two two to three hundred. Okay. Then there's some there's some complimentary pieces like there's there's Gordon with the uh, the bat signal. There's a Blake yeah. Blake figure, and then there's Gordon in his uh, SWAT. Yeah, but you want to start. You want to start with your bases, your bad yeah. jokers. That's, that's, yeah, so you, that's you know you're you're twelve hundred dollars in for the three. Right? Yeah, that's the meat and the, the corn cob. Right? And then if you decide you want to start collecting the tumblers, there's <laughs> well, yeah. So relax. Good luck. We'll relax a little bit on that. I'll tumble um, for yeah. Interesting story I wanted to tell real quick about. Uh, we were talking about uh, shipping and shipping fiascos. But this was my fault. So I did sell uh, Joker um, and Deadshot to uh, Diorama Mayhem, Jason. And I've shipped Jason stuff several times, and, and I've screwed his address up before. Somehow I left the number off the fucking address again. I don't know what the hell is going on. Anyway, so he messages me this morning and says, hey, I'm getting this weird tracking saying something about address not found. What address did you send it to? And I looked, and he's like, it's supposed to have a four in front of it. Fuck. I spent three hours and 15 minutes on hold in the queue line for the United States Postal Service. Three hours and 15 minutes. You know what they told me after that length of time? Uh, we're not able to help with a, a local package issue. We have no way to communicate with a local post office. But here's their phone number. You can call them, which I did. And a very nice gentleman said, hang on. Oh, here's the package. It's supposed to have a four. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm giving it back to the carrier. You should have the package delivered tomorrow. I'm like, Thank you. Nice. Three hours and 15 minutes. Like trying to cancel cable. Uh, it did say that... Um, when you call, when you call, they said there's a one hour and thirty minute wait. They missed wow. it by fifth, um, yeah, by hundred percent. So, no, yeah, pretty much screwed up. But that's okay. Looks like everything's going to be well with the post office. You know, it's okay. there's a lot of things going on with the post office, and uh, I'm trying to segue. Well, <clears> now <throat> you know that uh, call local. Well, it seems like Chris knows a lot about the post office and the way things go. I, I do. Um, well, Tyler's got a segment too, though. Oh fuck! But uh, yeah, I saw the segment. Fuck! <laughs> Jesus, so, you're actually killing me. So Tyler, let's go ahead and get your uh, damn sure in the what do we call it the elite the elite collector segment. <laughs> uh, in elite. other words, it's shit you probably can't afford because nobody can. Uh, is there any sixteen thousand dollar items this week? No sixteen thousand dollar ah. week. Uh, we do have some pretty good ones though. All right, get it rolling. All right, let me know when you guys can see this. Oh, here we go. Is it going to work? Should work. Oh, um, there's Tyler. Again. No, Ooh. come on. Yeah, maybe it only, maybe it only works under your son's account. Maybe. That freaking guy. <laughs> that Boba Fett looks pretty good down there, man. Boba yeah, you, Fett. You need to get the holiday special. How come he's on? Right? How come he's on his own uh, shelf, man? What's what's what else is going on, on that shelf? Because he has an ass crash box to build him a uh, Starlight pit. Yeah. Uh, well, I have a Starlight pit. Yeah. Uh, I was going to put my Luke there when he finally showed up. All right, says I'm screen sharing. Yeah, we see it. Yeah, you're screen sharing. We see that. We see the screen for. Prince to, to set it up, but yeah, it's clicking that, back that, to you. Yeah, it's your account, dude. You've been under your kid's account the past two weeks, and it's worked. I know, God, man, that kid. All right, well, we'll just open this up for you a little bit, or I can do my little bit real quick if you want to. <clears throat> no, it's fine. Okay. All right, so uh, just in time, for- we don't even see. We still see you. Really, you can't yeah. see anything now. No, we see. No, we see your face. Wow, what is going on here? Science and technology. It's fun, you see. 
I thought you were gonna go what does a star oh, turn yes. green? I guess we'll just do it this way. It says that yeah, it's, it's sharing. Can you guys see it? Yeah, it's sharing, yeah. but like when you go to full screen on your uh um to we just present your slideshow. Go to full screen right now. Or just click on slideshow up there instead of whatever you're doing. The word slideshow. Nope, it's on your face again. Right back to your face. Yeah, so I don't know what's going on. What up, son? Well, we we will just uh, <laughs> go. I'm done. I'm done with this. All right, are are we back? Can you guys yeah, see yeah. it? We're good. We're good. All right, so just in time for the new Spider-Man movie into nice. the Spider Verse, we got a new Miles Morales print. Nice. Only Actually, looks, framed. Looks only framed. Two hundred and fifty bucks. It's kind of cool if you guys can see it there with Venom in the background. Nice. Is that an Air Jordan he's wearing? Or it it is. is. Well, it is, but it's not. And we'll, okay. and we will get there. But yeah. uh little close up, better shot of Venom. That's cool. Wow. Does look good, good. man. All what, right. And what then, size is that? That is their I think they do eleven by seventeen or eighteen wow. by twenty four. So I'm sorry, uh, Tyler, but uh, sorry to go blow my nose. But did you talk about there's free shipping available? Oh, free shipping. Free right. shipping. Free shipping. <laughs> it's tempting. So, the Iron Giant for it's tempting. <laughs> yep. All right. And then keeping with our apparel piece, there is the actual official poster. Uh, so in the movie, it looks like Miles is going to be rocking the Air Jordan 1. Wow. So with that, Jordan Brand is doing a, a limited collab. The shoe actually releases this week. <laughs> Just to bring them back. So no, dude, that's probably their most popular Jordan right now. That that model, the one. It's ac- yeah, it's actually one of my favorites. You can usually really, get, yeah. You, I was gonna say you can usually yeah. catch me wearing a pair. Uh, I actually wore a pair today. Catch uh, me zipping. You know, so, so uh, but it's pretty cool. It's a Chicago kind of throwback theme, but it, if you look at it, the, the shoe itself actually has a uh, kind of a webbing effect on it. Yeah, it's it's be, webbing, yeah. yeah, it's supposed to be similar to what Miles' uh, costume is going to look like. So they had an official launch on uh, early launch on twelve one at the movie premiere. These things sold out instantly. Oh, really? Yep. So if you want one, I would get after it. Some of the resale sites have these things going for three, four hundred bucks already. So there's another must, shot of it. Must be the shoes. So is it 3M print for the? Because you don't see it right there. Yeah, it's a 3M print, so it's got a reflective print to it, and then it's got an ice bottom, which is the only thing I don't like about it. Hmm. Mm. But uh, there's definitely some cool artwork that comes along with it. The box is going to be uh, featuring a lot of the artwork we're kind of seeing here. So, why don't you like the ice bottom? Because they turn yellow. Yep, they turn. Ah, yeah. okay, they discolor. <laughs> yeah, at least, hey, at least they're blue and not straight clear. Shout out to uh, the uh, the non retro Concords. If you had a pair back in the day, because they weren't blue, they were clear. Yeah. For about that two. makes a lot of sense. I'm so. sorry, but uh, for casuals, um, ice bottom, blue, you, uh, can, light blue. Can ice. you see on the bottom? It's clear. It's a yeah, blue trim. How it looks like ice blue oh, at okay. the bottom. I oh, like them all white. So they're clear. It's gotcha. clear, and it, it after a while it'll turn yellow. I prefer so. a gum bottom. And is that for the shoes that light up? So it, like you get that effect? No. Okay. Please don't oh, talk about lighting. Next. Up. All right. Hey, my kids. My kids for uh, Halloween had uh, shoes with Bluetooth speakers built into. <sighs> wow. Crazy. They were eight dollars on clear. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this came out. I uh, can't even get a car with Bluetooth, and they got fucking shoes with Bluetooth. <laughs> yeah. So this came out this week. Uh, kind of put the Hot Toy Star Wars collectors in a got their panties in a bunch. I guess you would say. So. Uh, really? Yeah, so this is a deluxe version of Luke Skywalker. Hail Hasbro! Oh, from, sorry. From Jedi. This does not look like deluxe at all. I don't know what. <laughs> when did he? <laughs> hey, everybody. When did uh, when did Luke ever wear that? Yeah. Is this the nightmare this dream scenario? scenario? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nightmare is dream. This from, is this? Yeah, is this from the missing nightmare? This like is a, uh, Jabba's palace. I would assume. No, I'm I'm leaving just, leaving Jabba's palace. It's a deleted scene. Maybe getting there. There you go. So yeah, from a deleted scene, I don't like the legions of dark. Side. I've seen all this. I don't so, so this one came out a while ago. So, and I know Chris, I think you and I were talking about this. This is the first time where I've seen it, where they ha- where they've released the regular and the deluxe at two separate times. Right. Cause so, most of the time when they do that, it's 
a lot of the time is regular and then the deluxe or it's a sideshow exclusive that is kind of a deluxe. So. Yeah. So you get this lovely uh, poncho and his goggles. Okay. It's not bad. You get yeah. a you get a secondary head sculpt with sweeping hair. And you hang on, go back one. You get the saber effect that is new. I, so, I thought so that came that's with not it. included in the other. I have I have the shot of the of the, of the original release at the end, so we'll be able to check it out there. Okay. So you get his. This comes uh, with it too. Yeah, yes. it's a poncho. Oh, I know. Or and maybe so the deluxe version gets everything. Yes. Yeah, so you get the Endor outfit. There is some great moss work. Well, in that off good. Give me everything. So, and I don't know <laughs> well, what's going know. on. I didn't know that that like you have multiple outfits. Well, uh, it's it's multiple ponchos. Really. Yeah, ponchos. Yeah, yeah it gave <laughs> ponchos and Luke multiple Skywalker ponchos. poncho version. Yeah, and, I don't, and helmets. You know, I don't yeah. know what's with the underbite in this photo. He's just showing off his teeth because he just got it. Yeah. So now, I'm going to say that three of these four are cash money, and I don't know. Did you know that people with an underbite have a hard time eating pizza? <laughs> Pussy. So I'll let you know that. All right, they can um, oh. they could uh, put put a pillowcase on pretty good though. <laughs> <laughs> with their beard. All right, so this is uh, everything that comes with wow. the deluxe. <laughs> so back weekend. <laughs> so you, you get. You get a new base stand as well. <laughs> Luke Poncho Walker. <laughs> I have a question, Tyler. Can he wear both ponchos at the same uh, time? If you're very talented, you can get him to wear okay. both ponchos at the same time. Can he wear the helmet and the goggles? At the it Brink said it was Nightmare Luke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nightmare from like fucking. So, uh, nightmare from, from, from BBS. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's fucking awesome. <laughs> so here's the so here's the original release. I just so, got that. Joke. Oh, it does come with the laser. Or the, <laughs> so uh, the original launch, it looks like you get the handcuffs and you get the cloak, and you get the base that uh, kind of matches the Vader from Episode Five, which is interesting. You and, know, and I'm going to be honest with you, Tyler. I don't think you have anything to be mad about because I, it just me personally, I I would never use the Sandstorm gear. No, I wouldn't either. And I probably wouldn't use the indoor poncho either. So I I'm, I'm, I might make it better. Yeah, I yeah. might use that indoor yeah, poncho. Yeah, likes the fucking uh, – he likes the indoor poncho. So, so I, I mean, it's a – the like, other one also. You know, it's, what, a, Tyler, it's about Tyler, a $40 Tyler, difference. Tyler so. should say, what, what can I say? I'm a poncho kind of guy. No, is there, kind of well, can't, you, can't you buy those on the second market? You, you know? could you I well you can buy them on eBay. People will part them yeah. out. But the other thing is, yeah. I like the head. I like the secondary head sculpt on this one. Yeah, that, than this that, one. I so do. this is all the same, right? No. So this is the new one. Okay. That's the original one. That just okay. Came out. The original one comes with the uh, the cloak. Yeah. And the the V neck in the eighties. Uh, yeah, you get the tunic. Yeah. The chest fucking thing and. Oh. Uh, so. Tyler, what's with the uh, the arm? Is that the one I guess that makes it light up? Yep. Okay. I mean, honestly, man, I'm 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 cool with the regular. So the way these light these arms for the, the sabers light up is basically the elbow down. You change it out, um, and it's got batteries in it, and so so the hilt is built into their hand. Okay. But that's how you get the illumination for the lightsabers. So, so that's much smarter than the way they used to do it in the past, right? Where they'd run like wires up through the oh, arm, normal, right? Right, or you know, like the original. Um, figures where they just had a stick that came out of their hands. <laughs> what if it was like that? Uh, all right. So for King of Fighters, I don't know anything about this video game. But uh, from TB League, we got a 1 6 scale Athena Asmavia. I'm, I'm not going to let Joe KW let you live that one down. Yeah, I know. He's going to kill me. <laughs> I'm not going to try it. Asmavia is what I'd say. Yeah, I have no idea who yeah. this is. I, I was never a fan of King of Fighters. I wasn't either. So, but Storm, Storm has the license for the six uh, six inch stuff. So, yeah, and this is from a company I've never heard of before too. This TB League. Yeah. So. <laughs> all, right, <laughs> all right, sticking with sneakers. It's sneakers. Got a fucking uh, Fort Lauderdale fucking getaway in eighty five. You, you have the. Fi you have the <laughs> final. 
Michael Jordan masterpiece figure coming out by Enter Bay. So this is the last one they're going to do. Uh, it's my understanding that the license is going to run out on this one. So uh, this one's actually pretty cool. This is the highest price one they've ever had. If you look at this thing, this thing's $569. And you guys will see why. <laughs> so he comes with, uh, this is kind of a throwback to his rookie year, the warm-ups. Oh, so yeah. 84, yeah. 85 season, kind of cool. The, I do like the... Uh, uh, hold on, go back. Is there any ice blue on the bottom of the shoes? No. no, no these, that's the original right, Chicago. Right. I, I do like the effect on this one, though, with the chain like from the dunk contest. So it's kind of yeah. cool. I was about to say, that's that iconic dunk contest. Photo. Yeah. Fantastic. So, so this is everything you get. So you actually get two figures. And the cool thing is you actually get the entire sneaker catalog. So you get one through 14. So all the ones that Mike wore as a Chicago Bull. Sometimes I dream. This is this is uh, this is. I'm halfway tempted to get this just to see if I can put a pair of J's on Luke Skywalker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it can be done. It's gotta be someone that could. Uh, before make you do that, shoes. hit up eBay. Their shoes are all over eBay. Yeah, I'm, but they're I'm, not officially licensed. Now, Chris, you were saying you were interested in this. It's tempting, man. I mean, I'm a huge Jordan fan. I grew up. Are you? Oh, dude, yeah, okay. I was a huge Jordan fan for years and years. Um, I don't know though, man. That's a, it's two figures basically, right? Yeah, you know the shoes. Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's roughly about, right? roughly a six hundred dollar price point. Yeah. You get two figures, you get all the stands, you get the outfits, and you get all the shoes. Look at all those shoes! Wow. Yeah, and actually, the you one know how of, cool it would be to get little Nike boxes for all those shoes. The one the figure is wearing, the figure on the right that's standing, that shoe actually just came out this past weekend. So your crash box make little Nike boxes. <sighs> Kind so, of scary. You know? I love people that were posting that. Like, I could finally got some. Cars. I was like, I got Concords in '95. Yeah, except these say '45 on the back of them now. <laughs> here's a <the> shit. <laughs> All <laughs> right, so you can make a book. Yeah, so here, here's another shot. Cool thing is, is if you're into sneakers, these are some very iconic colorways. Wait a minute, uh, do those Concords have uh, ice bottoms? They no, looks clear. Gummy. They look gummy to me. Looks clear. <laughs> no classic. <laughs> Classic. The only thing that bothers me is on the Jordan 14. I wish it was the one that he was wearing when he took the shot against Utah in 98. But besides that. Yeah, instead of the Chicago colors. Yeah. Dude. And of all the fours they could pick, they picked the Fire Red fours. I like the Fire Red four, though. Uh, I would rather have the cement. Black cement or white cement? Deluxe wants to know if this is your closet. Uh, No. Uh, no. My closet is much more ridiculous than this. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, one day, well. I well, should, I should, should take I should take pictures of the basement and just post that. You should do you that. Like that's that? the thing we do. You should do a um. You should do a um. A shelf life. Shelf life of your shoes. Yeah, hey, man, we, have a, dope. we have one of a fucking Christmas sweater collection. So <laughs> yeah, it's different, man. It's very different, dude. I mean, right. I'd, I'd like to see. Is that how people display them? Like like that? No, most people display them in ratty uh ratty shoe boxes or okay. clear fronts. Okay. Yeah, sh that are uh drop front boxes from the container store. Tyler, I saw I saw the other day uh, some company is selling a high-end sneaker display case that's got LEDs in it and all this shit. I've Have seen, you seen I've I've seen some of those, yeah. Yeah, I thought that, and it wasn't horribly expensive either. I was like, "Damn, can I fit some toys in that?" <laughs> I mean, it would be cool to like throw some Yeezys in or some undefeated fours or something else. Oh yeah, let me just get those out of the closet. <clears throat> yeah, break those out. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, no. Actually, my wife told me the other day. She was like, you know, if you sold those George, you could buy that Star Destroyer. I was like, no, I'm good. There you go. <sighs> no. All right. Uh, so I don't know anything about Fallout. Do any of you guys play Fallout? Yeah, no, I wasn't a fan. Um, I know it has a huge following. I don't know anything about it. But yeah. let's proceed anyway. So this thing's done by 3A. And uh, looking, I did look at pictures of it. It looks like it stayed pretty true uh, to the subject matter. These things are technically 1 6, although they are 14 and a half inches tall. Uh, pre orders go live. They were very specific <laughs> December 11th at 9 a.m. Hong Kong time. So uh, I'm expecting that these will probably sell out quickly. These are going to retail at $398. That's with free shipping. And these. Oh do contain die cast but uh the washes and the details on this thing are crazy a uh, deluxe wow. in the chat says i fell out of love for this line get it 
Fallout fell out. Yeah, I got it. Uh, Matthew, he's, Matthew. He's a little he charge, he extra for the thirty-five dirt. seconds with Deluxe coming soon. <laughs> That's his so, love life. Thing looks pretty cool. It's got the swappable head feature. Hey, there's a dude in there. What's up, dude? <laughs> what up, dude? So I guess it's with the armor removed. Oh, cool. That is Great. a neat trick. I mean, if if this is your bag, Next. I think this is uh, definitely a nice piece. There he is with, with his buddies. Wait, so there's more than one? Oh, I, I, don't, I guess they're making all of you? Yeah. I, had, I think this was the teaser because I don't think I – well, I looked very quickly. I'll be very honest. I looked very quickly. I couldn't see anywhere that the other two had come out already. Josh is all in, man. Josh Fisher's in the chat, man. He said he's in he wood. He's like two legs. I'm in. <laughs> wow, <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah, All right, <laughs> love you, buddy. Love so you, we buddy. Got, we got a little bit of statue news uh, this week. So this thing went up. This thing is pretty badass. This thing is a one-third scale black mana from the new Aquaman movie. Limited to 500 pieces. Uh, it's good. This thing's gonna be about 1,200 bucks. I think, I'll get, I think I'll get two. This thing is actually pretty cool. The it's base on it kind of looks like a uh, Ruins of Atlantis with the wave effect kind of coming up on it. Yeah, that wave effect is dope. The eyes on this thing actually light up. Is it light piping? <laughs> no, it's not light. Dude, what if it was light piping on a, on a $1,200 statue? Very cheap. Uh, very light piping <laughs> with a little LED on top. Got to hold a flashlight up to the back of his head. <laughs> <laughs> little flashlight. We're gonna, I'm going to hold this flashlight up to his head so I can take a picture. Flashlight is $4 more. But I can't. <laughs> And my mama's free. <laughs> this, this thing looks great. And then, of course, if you order it from Sideshow, you, they they give you the exclusive hand swap out parts. Well, if you have one of your friends order it for you through Sideshow as a proxy. Uh, LOL. I still won't. Mm. <laughs> um, I've uh, shout out to the title. Stuff like this is getting me interested in the movie. Believe oh, right. yeah, man. So I don't know anything about this character. And the button nose. So the there you go with the uh, light up eye feature. Ooh, well, that's That's pretty good. Glamour shot. So this came out. This one was actually pretty cool. So this is by Iron Studios. So this is the same company we saw last week that did like the Iron Man. Or uh, yeah, it was the Iron Man, the Green Arrow, the Green Lantern, and the Ant-Man. So these guys are uh, going to do one tenth scale uh, Thundercats from the 1985 cartoon. That's interesting. So uh, these, this was the same company I threw this in here too that did the Dungeons and Dragons one. I didn't even know uh, that existed. Yeah. So the pre-orders you know? for pre-orders for these went up back in October. So they're pretty reasonable. I mean, they're sixty to one hundred and ten bucks. So it's not bad. I wonder if JD knows about these. Uh, oh, he does. Okay. Or he does now. <laughs> so, but uh, Thundercats are kind of cool. I mean, like, I feel like people start it and then they, they never finish it. So, I mean, if we could at least get that crew and then, you know, maybe a mum raw. Yeah, I'm not falling for that again. I'm going to have to wait for them to put them all out. Them all out. So, somebody will get it soon. Brink, right up your alley. Yeah, look at this. Dude, so, that's reasonable. So, we got some Jurassic Park. So, these are 138th scale. So it's my, uh, my favorite scale. It's your favorite scale. Yeah. So uh, the T Rex looks like he's going to be just over seven inches tall. The Triceratops will be over just over four inches. But for seventy bucks, they actually look pretty good. These are done by Prime One Studios. Yeah, man, those look really, really nice. Four inches. They look good together. Yeah, they do. I'm trying to think. Four so we have a T Rex and a Triceratops. If it was like seven inches, I could really get my hand around it. The four, I'm just having a hard time with. <laughs> G giggity. All right. And then <laughs> uh, for our Predator fans out there, this is our big ticket item uh, this week. So this is uh, a life-size bus done by Cool Props. And okay. I don't, yeah. Cool Props. Kagero Predator. I have no idea what this Predator is. It looks like a beetle. Mm, geez, he's mean looking. Is this from the new movie? Let it be. That's what I'm assuming. Let it be. From the new movie. But it just says Predator. It doesn't have. Uh, Maybe. 
Maybe they decided, listen, don't put that new logo on there. We're going to try to sell this stuff, okay? <laughs> uh, you got swords for kind of accent pieces on the back. And then new from Koto Bakai. Got a couple new images. This is a, uh, wow. a Catwoman kind of done up in an anime style. Catwoman's just all the rage. Leaning on a bag of fat bag of cash. She's and got some great cash. Looking like a bag of money. Um, I, I, I dig this, actually. And I don't know why there's coins. Maybe they're gold. I don't know. Girl. Tyler, those are bitcoins. Duh. Seemed like it seemed a little odd, but uh, it looks cool. Kind of, sort of. I guess you could say it sort of has that Gotham sirens kind of look to it. Yeah, but it, it's got that very anime style as well. Though. In the face, very much so. Yes. Yes. So, also mm. from also from Kota Bakai, we got this new Batman one tenth scale. In their battle diorama series, but he's standing still with his arms folded and without his cow. Boy, so. I'll tell you what, uh, this should about get an R rating. Look at that crotch beast. <laughs> Lord have mercy. How do they get their clothes so tight? Is a vacuum? Yeah, well, yeah, wow. Yeah. Look at that. Yikes. That's <laughs> not a penis pump. I mean, that's get that's, my that's a right. fucking wow. You. So. You. And then we got a teaser for the Joker coming Ooh. soon. And what scale is are these again? 110. 110. Hmm. No. Look like if you filled a fucking uh, plastic Walmart bag, shopping bag, water. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> All right. And more Street Fighter. Oh. I don't know which Street Fighter these characters are from. I want to hey. see the I want to see the fucking dame on the right. Karen and Sakura. Hey, uh, this is Brian Brinks. Like, oh, this is Street Fighter. Oh, <laughs> I'm in. in. Yeah, I don't yeah, I'm in. This. So, I got so they're, next. They're not in Street Fighter. Uh, they're not in Street Fighter Two. What is it? What's that? There's a circle above where it says. Let me say it like Energon Addict is is uh, enunciating in the coat. Ta ba kia kia. Anyways, uh, what is that? B, B show. I think that's the line of like their female characters that are super stylized. I this isn't Street Fighter. They're uh, Backstreet Fighters. <laughs> alley, alley chicks. Wow. wow. You put the quarter on the glass. Uh, you put the quarter on the glass. Uh, yes. And that's it. That's everything for uh, your high end corner this week. Look at you. Thanks, the elite corner. Elite. <laughs> Tyler, I see I what like you that. did there. I like, I like, I like. It a lot. All right. Is, well, your, I have, is your middle I have, initial E, Tyler? Mind you. No. Oh. And how dope would it be if it did? Are any, do any of your kids have a middle initial E? No. I should have thought about that. Oh, Jesus. Oh, well, that's all right. Maybe uh, next. Maybe next time, right? Chill. No, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I made tell sure. Your, tell, I made tell, sure all your, done. tell all your boys that's what they have to do. <laughs> All right. Uh, I actually had a, I have a little nibble. Should I do that tonight or wait? It won't take too terribly long. No, man, go for it, man. Okay. So uh, I get lots of, huh? So it is the season for it. The season. So I get I get questions a lot about shipping stuff, and I sh- I ship a ton of stuff poorly sometimes, apparently. But overall, <laughs> and some uh, name crash box. Let's go back. Crash. Let's let's okay. throw some fucking history in let's here. Go back. So. I lived in Alabama, where I'm from, for many, many years. I lived in Alabama when I met all you people. And I would um, buy and sell toys, as I still do. And I always, got, anytime I sent stuff, and it seemed like particularly to, like, the Jersey area, <laughs> the boxes just got mangled. Like, and they always were dented and... You know, the stuff inside normally was okay, but it's just the boxes were just mangled. So the name Crash Box came from... Um, the fact that all my boxes were all, were always crashed. I can't, I can't say I've had any complaints since I've lived in Maryland. Um, it's it definitely has gotten better, but I swear to God, your fucking mail carrier hated you. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I don't, I don't know what the deal was. <laughs> my mail carrier here still hates me. Uh, I didn't tell this story, but I was expecting some. Maybe I did tell a story. Oh, anyways, a couple times I've had, he's tried to just sneak a slip in the door instead of knocking and getting a signature for like an international signature required package. So he doesn't care for me. Anywho, so I'm gonna show, share a couple tricks to shipping stuff cheap, cheaper. I'll say. Um, obviously, prices are going up constantly on stuff. Um, 
but I ship from home. I, I don't go to the post office and get them to weigh stuff and, and, uh, you know, pay their, their prices. There is a cheaper way to do it. Um, let me screen share real quick. Now, real quick, uh, across the line, is uh, is anyone this year uh, tipping their mail carrier? I've never done that in my life. I I have when I knew them, but my mail carrier just retired. It a lot. So I've had uh, probably four. I've had the same dude uh, since I've been here, and I'm definitely going to throw him like a 20 or so because yeah. I get a lot of fucking packages. He brings them right to the fucking door. I, I only started, though. Um, in 2013, when I started collecting again, man, I had that mail carrier coming up here every day. Yeah, yeah. man, it's rough, China man. With my it. Amazon shit and my toy shit, man, I'm fucking. He's he hates yeah. me. He must hate me. <laughs> but okay. I, I'm also the dude that leaves like a a cold water in the mailbox for him when he uh, delivers in the summer. Also, I'm that guy. So I'm sorry, Chris. Go ahead. No, you're fine. So. I, I mail everything from home. You need two things specifically to be able to do that. One is a scale. Um, I, Triple beam. And you can spend as much money as you want on a scale, but I found this one for $13 with free shipping. It's got four and a half star reviews, um, and it will weigh up to 22 pounds. This is a, it's a cooking scale, but it'll work. Um, I have I, Actually, I have a baby scale. <laughs> it's what I have. Um, but... Uh, the only thing you, you get, you spend more money, you get things like, uh, oops, sorry, where um, your display piece will come off and it'll be separate. So, because if you got a box bigger than this, you know, you're going to have to, you won't be able to see your screen. So, but this, this will work. It's you know, 13 bucks, right? The other thing you need is a printer. Guess what they have on Amazon right now for fifth for $40. Is a Canon all-in-one that you can print from your phone, from your tablet. So you don't even have to have a computer to do this. Um, Sound like Will says you need a tape measure. Obviously, you need a, a tape measure or a, a good guess at least for that. So um, I've got a thing tabbed here. It's how to use PayPal shipping to mail almost anything. Um, and I can put this in the uh, – actually, I'll put this in the chat real quick. Daddy a, Yak. Yeah, this is through PayPal. Okay. So I don't know if you, anybody that's ever sold anything through um, eBay, your shipping is cheaper. That's because there's a discount. So this is the same functionality. So you log in here, which I guess I can do real quick. Hey, look, it's me. Hang on. Let me get a pen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me spell this out for everybody. Um, Lick a lot of balls. <laughs> there you go. Awesome. Look a lot of balls. It's what a no put a put a one on the end. It's gotta be alpha in America. <laughs> right. So once you get your screen up here, um, you put in your information. I won't put anybody on blast, so I'll just do my own stuff. Uh, name, address, blah blah blah. So this is this is through PayPal. This is through. So you put the link in, log into your PayPal. This automatically. Pulls wow. Up. So we'll ship to this address, and obviously I'm shipping to myself, so it's ridiculous. So from here, you can pick carriers. You can pick UPS or USPS. I almost exclusively use USPS. And here's something that you can do for this function that's hard to do otherwise. Check this out. You can do first-class mail parcel. Nice. That's what they – that's what fucking, uh, fucking uh, the post office kills you on. They don't do yeah. first class. So if you – It's you not in a zone. Package thick envelope. I believe you can go up to 14 ounces. Um, and down here, you know, you can add signature confirmation. You can display the price. You can add insurance if you want to add insurance on a package like I probably should have done to the package I almost lost for Jason. And then you click here, and it does uh, shipping costs, and it may say, why are you shipping something to yourself? But so, okay, so if I wanted to ship myself a 14-ounce package, it's $4.38. Wow, that would be 8 $9 at the fucking right. post office. So let's say it's six ounce, a six-ounce package just for shits and giggles. Um, come on. Go That's two, it's two ninety two. So like, wow. a loose, like a loose legends figure. If you're shipping a loose legends figure, <clears throat> two dollars and ninety two cents. You know, if you like, I ship boxed legends and boxed black series figures in a bubble mailer, and it cost me about three fifty to ship. I've lost so much money selling shit because I go to the post office. Yeah. So, um, you know, if you want to do priority, which is what most of us the the realm we all live in, so. 
Uh, and I will tell you this. So if it's if it's one pound and one ounce, um, guess how much that weighs at the post office? That's two pounds. So you might as well just round it up. So let's say it's uh, that, that's it's, only seventeen ounces. Right. But if it's if it's so, okay, so it's three pounds and one ounce. The post office is it's they always they round all the way up. It's four. It's four. Whoa. So yeah. So that's why, like, I don't know if you guys have ever noticed, sometimes you'll get a package from a retailer. They've, like, cut the flaps out of the inside of the box. Yeah, try to fucking kill all the weight they can. There's some there's some, some yeah. places in there, you know, like shipping to California from here is a bear. So people Yo, are down you know, boxes. when you go to California, that's a totally different fucking zone, man. Yep. That's why a lot of pe- people in there was like, add 10 bucks to go past yep. Texas because it's on four. Yep. So here, here's a little well, coming up. I want to share this. Let's just say that they know how much it weighs. Ain't nobody, when you drop your box off, going to measure your dimensions. I'll let you take that information and do with it what you want. Um, the other thing I want to show you real quick, and I'll have to go to. Hey, look, look, Chris, irregular packages for irregular collectors. No, okay. nothing. There. Oh, yes, there's a spot. Yes, there is. All right, so if you go to USPS.com and sign in, um, there is a world of things you can do on here, but one thing you can do is, um, let me find it here. I think it's under here. Stamps and supplies. Uh, we're going to go to supplies. Come on. This is slow tonight. And this is exciting. We're browsing the post office page. Um, <laughs> guess, guess what is free? Free shipping supplies. Check this out. Oh, where to go? I oh, screwed that up. Free shipping supplies. Boom. Guess what? All your priority boxes. See how much they cost? Nothing. You can get all these priority boxes for free sent to your house, as many as you want. <laughs> And you can use them to ship your packages in. So there's no reason anybody, if you're going to be shipping priority, you should ever buy a box. Well, a lot of people think like, if I'm going to ship priority and the box is small, it's going to cost less. No, it's it's with priority. They have fucking uh, basic prices for each one. Well, no, there's there, there's two different things. So it's there's there's priority. <laughs> um, if you do flat rate and get the flat rate boxes, yeah. You have to, it, you know, it's thirteen ninety five for that size. But say like this box here, um, this is a pretty common box. Uh, like you could throw two Marvel Legends figures in this yep. box, or two Star Wars, or whatever. Um, it's still by just whatever the weight is. So if it's a pound, you know, you could shove a ton of weight in there. But that box is is done by weight, and yet the dimension is, you know, it tells you right there. It's, you know, you can type that dimension in. There are some that are uh, flat rates, like this one, right? So this box is however much this box is to weigh to, to ship, no matter how much you shove in it. So if you're shipping gold bars, um, <laughs> you can shove as many as you Red can. Red like, Redemption Two. That's right. Wait, wait, wait. So if you can put as much stuff <clears throat> in there and it's the same price to ship it, is that it right? Is. It is. So let's yeah let me, for flat rate. Yeah, I doubt I can log back onto my other screen now, but. Um, let me let me see if I can get there. I may have to log back in. I should have just opened a new tab. Let me just open it. Look at our stamps. Shop of stamps. Yeah, man. It, it, oh, I, I, I loathe going to the post office. Do you have any of the, uh, do you have any of the rooster stamps? Now, you, you print all this stuff up and just leave it on your doorstep and they pick it up. No, no, no. I still go to the oh. post office and I have Oh, you got to drop it off. I scan it. So days like um, rock box <laughs> every day. Um, they they did not like it very much because we walked in there. Now, what if what if your information that you put on your your, your label doesn't match up to what they do at the post office? From a weight standpoint, um, yeah. I actually got back charts about three bucks the other day because I missed a, a weight on a package. All right, so now, you had, you just pay the difference. They yeah, they take it out. Now could they, they could be assholes and just be really fucking go at you, right? They they could. I mean, I'll be honest. Yeah. I dropped some stuff off one time and it was wrong, and they returned it to me here now. Yeah, so they don't pick it up. They they will, but once again, my postman's a moron, so I'm not yeah. going to trust him to do anything. Hashtag, hashtag kick your fucking box into the truck. Yeah. Box. So so if I but if I take it there and I have it, if I make sure that I get it scanned. 
then I know it's on the way. Now so I like, know why. Now we know why yeah. our boxes go across. So this medium flat rate box here, um, no matter how much weight you put in it, it's twelve eighty five. Oh, interesting. But they don't have gigantic boxes. So. That's a lot of money. Yeah, twelve dollars to ship something is a lot of right. Money. But, I mean, but look, up to seventy pounds, you can put. Yeah, but it has to, it has to fit in that dimension of that box. Right, sure, sure, sure. You're um, not fitting a fucking fans' toy Scoria in there. Just no, you're all, you're obviously not. But um, you know, there. Let me see if I can find it. Forms and labels. You can get. Um, where the forms and label? I don't know why, but you can get all sorts of stickers and stuff too, like fragile and stuff. Um, they did have some uh, um, something that's like a crematory remains stickers at one point. Nice. Yeah, I thought that would be funny to put on some. Uh, well, it, you know what? I definitely see from what you've been uh, shipping out uh, throughout your time. Like, it's definitely it's less money. If you do the scale thing at home and print your own labels, because yes, yeah, so I mean, if you if you're, times, I'm saying there's times I go to the post office and like I'm I'm I lose so much money whenever I sell something because I'm an idiot because I I under I underprice the shipping. Yeah, you know, and I'm always taking a loss for that. But if I ship from home, like you do, there's right. definitely there's definitely a balance. And, and listen, guys, you can find deals on printers all the time. I mean, uh, you can get a white one of this for twenty dollars more. Reasons, exactly. Yeah, but um, you know, it's, like, if, it's forty dollars for a printer, and it's forty dollars for an ink cartridge. So you might well, as well just buy a new fucking printer. You are right. The ink, ink <laughs> yeah. If you're doing black, I mean, listen. If you're not printing full color pictures of your favorite Instagram models out all day, you're, shout out to Octopi, right? Yeah, you're gonna have plenty. So Tyler there, knows about the ink. I remember the uh, toy doc, toy detox episode about the ink. That's right, most, the most expensive liquid. Most on earth. expensive liquid on earth. Yeah, so that's the uh, that's the nickel tour there of uh, of shipping. Uh, I put that link in the chat here, and uh, if you might <coughs> just hit me up, I'll send it to you. It's it's not necessarily a secret, but it's not something they publicize either. Publicize. Yeah, there's a lot of hidden things that you, that you wouldn't get at, at a post office that you could do from home. Pork chops and applesauce. Yeah. Pork chops and you guys, uh, you guys, Brady Bunch fans from back in the day. Of oh. course, dude. Oh my nose. Well, okay. Does anybody? <laughs> does anybody oh, remember nose. Jan's boyfriend's name? No. Dan. I no, cannot. That's... I do not remember Jan's boyfriend's name. George Glass. George Glass. You remember that? And he didn't exist, right? So. She we made were, him up. She made up a boyfriend named George Glass. So we were at uh, <coughs> we were at Barnes and Noble or something. You know, the kids were looking at pops, and they have a two pack of Jan and, and George Glass, and it's just Jan in an empty spot. <laughs> 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 but it's still, but it's still the price for two figures. <laughs> ah, that's great. <laughs> that's that awesome. Great. You can't hate on that. <laughs> yeah. For sure. So That's awesome, man. Yeah, like I said, anybody has any questions about the shipping stuff? I, you, I've said this for years. You need a printer. Um, you need a. Dude, uh, you're a fucking shipping king, man. Yeah, I am. I ship uh, a lot of stuff. I'll be shipping hats out hopefully by the weekend. By the way, if you order a winter cap, it should be in by the weekend. You know, I'll try my best to get them out relatively quickly. I should have picked mine up while I was there. They weren't here yet. They weren't oh, here. Never mind. They're not, there. They're, they're not even made yet, but they're supposed to get done this week. So. Oh. Anywho, uh, Mr. Brink. Yo. Let's talk about the chat. It's chat time. Chat time. All right. Starting off, of course, chat wing. chat wing is in here. Who? No, Noble Young. Rob M. Thank you for your wrench duties, sir. You had to bow a little early tonight. Uh, 111 Crispy. Antoine. Eric B. Cromdor Gort. Gita. Joe V. Deluxe. We had Chris A. KJ Smith. Lord Shadowkeeper, uh, David L. I haven't seen him in here uh, recently. He just did a 30 minutes with Deluxe. Check it out. Pretty good dude. Uh, Mervine, 48. Chris G., another one we haven't seen in a while. Welcome back. Josh F., BZ Fresh. We had Matt H. We had Joe B. Joe B., it's his birthday today. Happy birthday, Joe. Happy birthday, Joe. Happy snow day. Yeah, man. Got snowed in. 
Um, we got Lance. Lance K. What's up, buddy? And Knight of Ren. Jiraiya. Hashtag, hashtag claim. Hashtag claim. Uh, we got uh, Jiraiya Psalm 7. Hurricane BX. Hosea. Energon Addict. Samway Will. Samway Will had a fan in the chat earlier. Man, that was fun. Yeah. We got... Uh, <laughs> Yeah. yeah, we had a, a spam bot come in and say Soundwave Will fan. Mm. That was good. Uh, we had Jedi late for the battle again. Oh, well, as his handle in here. Uh, Eric Tron, Mark44 Prime. Uh, let's see. We had K173. We had GED Septic Mediocre. That's a new one. Uh, Antoine. Was oh excuse me Antonia uh, S was in here Remington the second Rogue War seventy one Dave J J H four zero seven three who I think got put on timeout by accident sorry about that man it's been a rough night for the chat squad uh, <laughs> Spornimus is in <laughs> here <laughs> we're shooting like it's a wild wild west <laughs> um, the intangible Chicago Charles is in here Brammer uh, Tyler G Kenny Prime. And Jason Y. We all take friendly fire time to time. That's right. Pew, pew, pew. All right. Pew, pew, pew. All right. Uh, let's go down the line here. You can tell all the good people in internet land where you at. Brian Brink. Uh, you can find me, Brian Brink, in the Facebook groups, at Brinkalizer, on Instagram, Harvesting Moss for dioramas. Moss. Moss. Uh, be sure to check out Breaking the Mold. Tomorrow night, eight o'clock. I'm old, and uh, I believe it's Vega Banging Week. <gasps> I believe you're right. That's right. So Wednesday, nine thirty ish. When you're done watching Stasis Lock, tune on in over here to watch East Wednesday. It's Milo reviewing another fantastic figure. The Deuce. The Deuce. Oh, the Deuce, the deuce is loose. All right. Uh, Dust. Yo, uh, Dust Mites on Instagram. Eddie Dust Mites in the Facebook groups. That's all I got. Tyler. I just noticed Dust did a wardrobe change in the middle (laughs) of the show. Yeah. (laughs) Would you disagree? You went from blue to black. I didn't, I didn't want to fall asleep. I didn't want to fall asleep on that shirt. But, you know. uh, <laughs> uh, all right, you can- <clears throat> you guys, I got to do another three hours on another fucking podcast. <laughs> like, <laughs> I got to fucking uh, tie my night up. Uh, you can find me uh, on Facebook under my government name. Uh, you should be able to figure that out after tonight. Uh, you can find me on Instagram on Tyler the Collector, and then you can find me uh, on your favorite quarterly podcast, Toy Detox, as well, which we did just record an episode. So uh, check it out; some pretty good uh, MP44 talk in there. You released it. Lunches. You released one, and then recorded one. Uh, no, the one that just got released, uh, I'm on, so you can find me there. All right. Cool. So let me make sure I'm clear: a guy who doesn't collect Transformers. Yep, and a guy who doesn't collect toy anything, yep. anything you talk you, about, you and got rid of everything. And one other guy who collects everything, yeah, had a conversation about something that only one of them might buy. Actually, the whole crew is on that show. So, wow. uh, I, okay, Sorry. nice minus Cody. Sorry, whole crew. Who minus Cody? Who Cody? Cody is prime. The king. Hey, shout out to uh, I don't have a shout out to Milo's famous sweet tea. It's an Alabama chain of oh, yeah. restaurants that puts sweet tea out in gallons. I was in the greater Baltimore area today in a Walmart, and lo and behold, they had Milo's sweet tea. Uh, I brought home a bottle and showed my wife. I said, I found a unicorn in the wild. Milo? Good dude, man. What Black Series did they have there? The same ones they have at every fucking Walmart I go in. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> uh, actually, it's funny. Um, I've been looking for those Mimban troopers. Mm-hmm. On and off, uh, somebody uh, Tyler actually found them for me, but I, I've probably been in thirty WalMarts in four states, and I've never seen them. Never. So. You know what's funny, man? There's probably at least one in every one I go into up here. That's crazy, dude. It was wow. like that Marvel Legend photo I sent. Yeah, yeah. It's like full cases. It's all about the area, man. 
You know what I did? I see. I saw today. I saw. Um, I saw two Doc Ox. Somebody tried to hide on the top shelf. You can't hide nothing from me on the top shelf, boy. <laughs> the the bottom you. shelf, yes. Top you, shelf, yeah. no. You appear in your tiptoes trying to hide shit. It ain't happening. So. You put it underneath the fucking floorboard, you ain't fucking with it. Yeah. Uh, and I'm Pinkerton on Instagram, PinkR10. Christopher Pinkerton on the good book, because that's what my mama named me. And Crashbox Customs on Instagram and Facebook. Got some cool stuff coming, and then more cool stuff after that on Crashbox. So nice. Make sure you... uh you're giving us a follow to look at some cool stuff. 2019, so. baby. That's right. You got to finish strong for 2018. All right, that's going to do it for us tonight. We will have a uh, we'll have an unbroadcasted after this. Uh, some of us will hang out for a bit and then let you guys put a bow on it. Uh, don't be afraid to join us in the hangout if you've never done that before. All you need is a a device that you can log into Google Hangouts. Uh, the link will be in the Facebook group. Shout out to headsets. Um, and we can uh, chop it up. So that's going to do it for us. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you were here with us. And we appreciate that. I'm done talking. And everybody else is also. Nothing? Bye, bitches. Uh, Sporterman says, throw away those dolls, Pinkerton. And put his tongue out. All right. Shout out to that guy.